Take <laughs> oh, hi, Shelly. How are you? Been well. Yeah, just literally got on a few moments ago. Vodafone has been giving trouble this past hour. The internet has shut down twice, about a half an hour ago, just literally before I came on and they came back on. So there's a small possibility it might shut down again. I think they're doing something with the servers or or whatever. Which is unusual because you know Vodafone, it's 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 pretty steady here as a 5G. First time ever, really. I never really had problems with it these past few years, but you know, probably just the usual maintenance thing. So, what have you been up to, Shelley? So, if I do cut out, it's probably um, the internet. Usually comes back on after about 10 minutes. Shut down twice about an hour ago. So hopefully that was the end of it. Ooh.
Let's get the rest of this done once and for all. It would be nice to finish these gardens. They were a complicated undertaking, I suppose. But we're almost through them. the worst of it. Oh, I just get the levels right. There. Your voice is weirdly deep. Oh yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> it will be like that for a while. <laughs> hmm. Just not used to it at all. <laughs> Been the same all day for me. How about yourself? Oh, same old, same old, literally. Yeah, same thing. It should clear shortly. To be honest, I think I'm getting some kind of sore throat as well on cold. Because I've been a bit sniffly all day. But you know how that can affect your voice as well. It should clear in a moment. I can kind of feel the gravel myself. Just one moment. Now. I was trying to decipher whether it was a cold or you just woken up. I think it's a bit of boat. <laughs> I think it was a bit of boat. But I'm literally, yeah, just got up a, a few moments ago. Just had time to switch on my laptop, which takes about, really takes about 10 minutes for to get the, that old thing up and running. But I totally don't blame the laptop. I blame the updates. You know, you know what they're like. There was never a problem with that laptop to I got an update. But it works perfectly, it just takes ages for it to get up and running. Uh, probably usual stuff to do it purposely to Persuade you to upgrade. Mm. <laughs> I don't notice myself, obviously. But it's probably clearing a bit now, is it? But I can feel that little bit of vibration in the back of my throat. Well, when you wake to when you're a sm when you're a smoker, uh, yeah, you tend to feel it. Your voice can get it as well. Like a kind of Jekyll and Hyde, yeah? So, anything interesting, shall I, for you today? What you were saying is still the same old, pretty much the same with me. The highlight of my day was bringing the old ball and chain to some stupid store that had a sale. And then trying to avoid the stampede of all biddies. Yeah, the usual usual stuff. My god, I hate shopping with a vengeance. I think it's my version of hell. Ah. 
I suppose it all depends on what you're shopping for, isn't it? Oh, oh where are you shopping at? Hmm. I wake up, speak to find myself questioning my gender. <laughs> Well, as a smoker, uh, you know, obviously, you'll get chesty and that will build up overnight. Takes a little while to clear. I've been doing that, abusing my body with nicotine for a long time, so. I might not notice, but yeah, other people will. But to be honest, I, I think it's a combination of a few things. I really think I'm catching some kind of cold. It's the season really, isn't it? You know, it was kind of warm and humid and now it's back to a bit chilly with rain and then... And it's not even that, it's the fact that it can turn on a dime. You know what the Irish weather is like, shall we? In the same day we get sunshine, rain and cold. And seasons are merely a suggestion now. Ah, but still, could be worse. At least I'm still here to witness it. <laughs> For a while more at least. <sighs> Season, sir, and I want you marinade chicken in. <laughs> Nothing to do with <laughs> it. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. I was just thinking to myself today how, you know, little freak, freak incidents, accidents, call them what you must, could happen to anyone. And how you should, you know, Kind of make the best of it while you're here. I don't know if I was telling you this. Was I telling you about the accident my grandnephew's wife had on their honeymoon? Was I telling you that one? And this is, you know, 100% true. Let me get this one here. I probably told you. Don't think I heard that one. Well, basically, you know what? August and September and June, July are like, you know, people love to have weddings. I suppose you can't blame them on that. But anyway, they went on their honeymoon. I don't know where it was. Portugal or Spain or... You know what kids are like. But they went to this kind of fair, kind of carnival thing, shall I? And they had this kind of, you know, racetrack. And basically it was like um, a little motorbike. And it had um, like a stabilizer. Almost like them dodgem cars, you know, like so nobody could get hurt. So it was like a go-kart. It was actually powered by a motorbike. But they were going around the track on that, you know, having fun. You know what it's like. Now, my grandnephew's... Um, uh, wife has unusually long hair. You don't see that thing anymore. But I, when I say long hair, I mean 
for like for like freakishly long here, way down past her backside. That I don't know. I think that's. I don't know. I suppose it's nice. It, yeah. But maybe too long. But she tied it up and you know put it in a bun and put the helmet on. So she was going around anywhere on the track, but it opened up and slipped down. It got caught in the back wheel of the motorbike as they were moving forward. And it ripped uh, clean from her head, took a large piece of her scalp. The paramedics eventually got the piece out from the wheel and during an operation managed to kind of stitch it back in. Unbelievable freak accident. Well, not really a freak accident, but it could have easily have killed her. Oh, horrible. I suppose if it grabbed enough of her hair, it could have literally snapped her neck. And that would have been... Oh my god. She probably really didn't even feel that with the shock. Shock would have kicked in, I suppose. Horrible, horrible situation. Hmm. Mm hmm. It is, absolutely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But they're pretty good today. You know what I mean? In surgery and that. They would have managed to get that piece of scalp, oh my god. And then, let's say, even there would be scarring there, but you'd never see it beneath the hair. But still. You know? Yeah. It just brought back, you know, some things to me, like, you could be just maybe taking the bus to work, and, you know, maybe walking to the shop or driving your car. It could all end in a second, Shelley. You know, some drunk driver, or, you know, anything. We all tend to... You know, think of our lifespans due to our lifestyle, or you know, or, or let's say what we eat, or our age. But it doesn't always go that way. Fate can have something else planned for you. That's why I always say, live life on your terms. Be happy. No drama. And get the best of it. You can. Yes, mine too. Mine too. Almost like a kind of sympathy pain. You'll probably hear me scratching mine in a moment. But even thinking about it is like thinking about it, you know, like about it, like someone scratching on a chalkboard. Oh my god, that drives me nuts. No, that's not too bad. And I have a pain in my teeth thinking about it. The thing that kills me, and all I have to do is think about it, is imagine a white, soft, fluffy towel that's come straight from the dryer. It's nice and soft and fluffy. And then grinding your teeth on that fluffy towel. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's the one that gets me. Ooh. I know some people... They can't stand that scratching on a chalkboard, but that doesn't bother me. It's the fluffy towel thing. Mm -hmm. A horrible accident.
much over their teeth combs and stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Really? No, for me it's always been that fluffy towel. Oh. You know the old thing? I don't know if it's still a thing. You know before when babies would have their little comfort towel. And sometimes they'd chew on it. Oh my god. Probably something got to do with eating. I would have to leave the room. Actually, even thinking about it now will give me nightmares. Are people who chew. Really? Ice cream? <laughs> that's a new one. Yeah, that's... That one I've never seen. Hi, Terry. Hi, how are you? I hope you've been well. Uh, would you believe I'm not really that fond of ice cream? It's, it's okay. But... Let's say I'm not overly fond of it. I'm kind of old school, shall I? Uh, when it comes to stuff like that. You remember those? <laughs> you remember those Mr. Freeze drinks we used to get as kids? <laughs> I'm still into them in a big way. But I found them the other day in a store. And I had these large boxes of one hundred and forty of them in a box. <laughs> I bought the entire box. I couldn't believe it's it's been decades since I've seen them. I didn't even think that uh, they were making them. It's like a kind of water ice thing. We used to call them frozen drinks. Remember? Mm. My anxiety is bad today because my boyfriend. Yes, on Wednesday. Well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. But, um, yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. But in situations, I would say like that, Terry, you've kind of got to mentally prepare as well, you know. And if everything goes okay, you know, that's great. But you've got to be prepared for, you know, if it doesn't as well. I'm scared. Oh. Well, in a situation like that, Terry, it's, a, it's something you can't control. I know it's hard to not be scared, but it can kind of make your situation worse as well. I think in something like that, it's for both of you. I think it's best to be strong because you know chances are that you know he's probably scared as well. I don't know what the charges are, and I definitely don't want to pry, so I don't want to know. But assuming we're talking about like some jail time. Yeah, he's going to be scared. Um, and, you know, if you were kind of strong, and uh, that would that would comfort him a lot more, you know. I know it's hard to do, but in a situation like that, let's say you would have to be, you know, pretty strong. I know it's easy for me to say, but... Logically speaking. Oh, well, that's good. You know what you want. Hmm. As nice as it sounds, worrying will worsen yourself. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, it's easy for me to say because, you know, I'm not going through it. 
you gotta mentally prepare, of course, yeah, yourself for the worst. And then let's say, you know, maybe it's just something simple. Slap and arrest. I'm not sure. Um but let's say assuming that we're talking about some you know, time inside. Um yeah, he's gonna be scared and nervous as well. And it will intensify the whole thing if you're visibly scared as well and will just you know, perpetuate it. Uh, but I learned a long time ago, Terry, to not worry, well, too much at least, about the things I cannot change. And that got me through a lot, you know. Oh, hang on, what did I do with my cigarettes? But there's lots of things we cannot change. And, you know, if you worry about the stuff you cannot change, even though you know they should be changed, you'll definitely give yourself a mental breakdown. I used to stress out a lot around your age. Until it ven I eventually realized it. It made more difference, and as what Shelley said, it basically made the whole thing worse. It's not an easy thing to do, but it can be done. I'm the same croc, yeah. I'm at the point where my motto is, life goes on. Yeah, no matter what. Unfortunately, that is the cold hard truth, Shelley. Like, even... It's like... I'm an important part of my, my family, let's say. Um... But if, you know, if I were, if I was to be gone tomorrow, within a few weeks, everything would be, be back to normal, you know? It's a strange thing to think about. Oh, definitely, he has to. I know it's easy to think, and uh, I've, you know, had this conversation before with, with other people. But to me, Terry, no matter how bad your trouble is, no matter what, like even if you were facing life inside, to me the ultimate problem is death. And that's a problem that kind of trumps all other problems. And that's the one you should be avoiding at all costs. But, you know, I know how depression works and that and, you know, how people feel. You know, but staying alive, you know, that's, that's what you, that's what he needs to be doing. You know, you could tell him that, no, it's only a bit of time, you know, it's not his entire life, just a tiny bit of time. And life will go on. Hmm. Yeah, same here, Shelley. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes I even feel guilty for this. But this is a natural thing, Charlie. You know what I mean? This is a natural thing. All we can do is, you know, care for and love, you know, the people close to us as much as we can. And when one of them goes or we go, we just keep going on. We have to. You know what I mean? We have to. Yeah, the pain never goes away. But it does dull, I will say that. It does dull. Well, thank goodness for that. But yeah, it's a harsh jungle. You know, I've been with loved ones to hospital when I watched them suffer. It really tests you as a person, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah. But remember, Terry, 
as long as you're alive and surviving. That's what it's about in this world, being a survivor. You don't have to be cold-hearted, on the contrary. You know, but you... You have to choose your battles wisely. You know, so to speak. You definitely have to choose them wisely. But who was it that said again? That Irish poet, Shelley. Your mind is a temple. True. That's one thing that nothing or no one can get to. Unless you allow it. I forget his name. I knew what he was talking about. Hmm. Ah, I see. And now's your chance, let's say, to support him. You know. And sometimes, Terry, just sometimes, I'm not saying this is the instant. Sometimes, let's say, setbacks like this can set people on the right track and can be... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? More of a help, let's say. I know it's a strange thing to say, but I've seen it before. I've seen people who were on the wrong track, let's say, and uh, they were heading to oblivion, and that had setbacks like that, that, you know, basically kind of put them back on the right track. I'm not saying this is one of the times. I don't have, you know, enough information. But... You know, you're still both young, you're still alive and and healthy. It can be. It's like this, Shelley. Uh, you know, I know it's kind of glass half full kind of thing. But let's say, instead of this, what if, let's say, you know, your boyfriend came to you and he said, I was just in with my doctor. And he says, I have a terminal disease and uh, I've got 12 months to live. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be much worse? So it can always, always remember that, Terry. It can always be worse. <laughs> and that, I found out a long time ago. Exactly. So you know what you want and you know what you're doing. So... I know it's a setback, but you know it's it's not it's not on well I won't say unfixable. It's not unworkable, but you'll have many setbacks in life, Terry, and how you deal with them will. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, the fine will make you, you know, the person that you will eventually become to be. If that makes sense. Oh. So there's that connection there. I do believe in love. To be honest, I do. But how how can I put this? I do believe there's more than one person out there for everyone. And I believe finding the ideal uh, person 
is probably impossible. So relationships are hard. We're very, very complicated. All of us, each and every single one of us. Extremely complicated. Relationships are hard. Okay, we have that. We need the, the inside ones and then we'll slap the water back on it. It does, Shelley. Yeah, unfortunately it does. Ah. Well, you still have him. Maybe you might not be able to see each other as much as you want to, but... You know. It would be worse if, you know, he was literally not around. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's one. That's one, what's the word I'm looking for? That's one way around it. A little bit of DIY work. <laughs> okay, that's kind of okay. We gotta remove that piece, and then we get our our shells in. And I get the shells. Where's that stupid bed? Be nice to get this done. Get it over with been kind of bugging me for a while. <laughs> I have one. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> half a dozen. Yeah, you want at least you want at least half a dozen. I see. <laughs> you go all religious on Sunday, shall I? <laughs> yeah, you're Irish, all right. <laughs> it definitely does, Terry. You know, speaking would would someone. And even, let's say, someone of your own gender who would, you know, kind of understand a little bit more. Loss is universal. You know, but guys tend to take loss, you know, a little bit, let's say, differently than than women. Not much, you know, but a little bit differently. Hmm. I'm not new to them. <laughs> you love them. <laughs> No. Uh, there's this junk here I have. It's not much, but... Yeah, it's not bad, I suppose. Here. It's just a little shells. Other stuff. We're gonna have a look around here in a moment for as well, but... Here they are. Okay, well... Which way do we put these silly shells? I just need four of them. Oh, I can build these for the other one as well, because I don't want to be looking for those in my menu. There's already one there, so I need three more. 
Sampler. No, I want to see what direction they're going in. Star is going in towards the building, okay. Right, let's get them in. <laughs> guys bury their heads in relationships. I bury guys in relationships. <laughs> oh, you're Irish, all right. <laughs> and I have followed you back. But I've always been, I don't know, I suppose every woman will um, approach relationships differently. But myself, I'm, I would progress pretty slowly in a relationship, to be honest. I tend to, to take them, you know, seriously. I think a, re a relationship should be also a friendship. You know, I think the person you have a relationship should be, you know, a bit of one that you can, you know, that has your back. I do believe in that. But not blindly, you know, if you're doing something stupid or silly to, you know, tell you. Constructive. You definitely don't need an enabler. Yeah, a partnership. I suppose. I'll get, I'll get that guy out in a moment, you see? Stupidest, stupidest thing. Oh. Ah, I see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, we have to set these up. Oh, I think we're moving on these guys here and yeah, some of them going to give us a bit of trouble. Something like that. And then we can line them up at a moment. I think it's around there. Oh, we get them in a yeah. You see what I mean? Oh. get the water on this one and call it done. Mm. Your hair is very fluffy. Get rid of that. Oh. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, that would do. Uh, make sure that these ones are stable. There. Now. We build our water panels. I have cigarettes all over the place. At least we're done with one of the stupid pools. And that will totally finish off this this entire side. The hair on your head. <laughs> Kind of, uh, kind of like a '70s rock band kind of thing going. I'm afraid. I called it my pandemic hairstyle. Always had business haircuts, and now I'm going through some kind of retirement thing. It looks like I've just did a revival tour or something on a rock band, with a rock band, I should say. Ah. It was one of my bucket lists, so one of the things to, to get out of the way before I check out. That's good. Now, the water panels. Um, radio. Never had curly hair, always pretty straight. And soft hair. Has a mullet. Oh my god, I despise mullets, even when they were popular. My god, they look horrible. <laughs> oh my. No joking, I would shave my head, shall I? I would prefer to go Vin Diesel or Kojak. I did actually once. It was a really hot summer. But it was a bad haircut from my wife, actually. I probably told you. Uh, I was always pretty late when I got back. So, you know, a hairdressing salon was out of the question. So I bought one of these foo poof uh, hair trimming kits. But, yeah, got the combs. You know the ones you fit the combs on? Croc Diesel. <laughs> And, um, you know, you put the combs on. It was a reasonable job, I must admit. But there was a little bit on top that needed a tiny bit more. So I said, oh, you just missed a bit on top. So she came back with this comb hair buzzer thing. But she forgot to put the comb back on. And just ran it literally from my forehead to the nape of my neck. Took the whole piece right from there. It looked like a kind of reverse mohawk, like like Krusty the Clown. You you should be familiar with that band, uh, that old 90s, 2000 band. Uh, you remember from London, wasn't it? You remember that kind of punk rock group, Prodigy? You remember them, Shelley? One of their big hits was a one called Firestarter. But the lead singer was dressed in a Captain America outfit. They did it on the London tube station. Yeah. I, wa I wound up with a hairstyle like that guy. Hi, Cactus. Hi, how are you? How have you been? So then I took the rest of it off. Oh, hi, Young. 
How are you and Cactus? I hope you guys have been well. But in a sense it did my hair cut as well because you know once it grew back it was a lot more manageable. Okay, let's get these ones in. So I almost have another pool finished, guys. Ah, doing good. Ah, that's good here. Been playing some... Oh, Fallout 3. I haven't played that for... Oh, my God. Well, well, well over a decade, I'd say. Hmm. Well, eventually... I have a physical copy somewhere. A Game of the Year edition. I must eventually get back to that one. Yeah, but it's it's been a long time since I played. Oh, I'd say me. I have a big fuzzy beard. Nice, finally, someone who enjoys them. Yay! <laughs> I used to wear a, wear a beard. But I always found it too uncomfortable. Especially while eating. But then what happened as well, saved me. I would get a, let's say after a few months of wearing the beard, I would get a, a fierce neck rash. Yeah. A really bad neck rash. <laughs> fine, fine, thanks, save me. I hope you've been well. But my, my beard becomes very brittle, very spiky. Like a wire brush. Okay. Let me get the SOE water paddles. Spiky hair, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'm a smoker. Ah, same as me, yeah. Oh, yeah, I used to trim it and do everything with it. But I always found it uncomfortable. But then I have sensitive skin, let's say, on my neck as well. Hmm. Yeah. Or X smoker. Oh. Well, X tobacco smoker. Let's say. I have a beard, but keep it high and tight. Yeah, it gets too long. Yeah. I think that's what I was doing. I was letting it get too long. I did then trim it for a while, but I've always found it, um, you know, hard on my skin. Now, let's say I'll grow a little bit more. Most of the time I wear stubble, to be honest. If I can, young, I'll only shave every two days. I know I should be shaving at least once, if not twice a day. Um, but yeah, it's just too hard on my skin. Well, it's not too bad now because, you know, I'm retired and, you know, I'm mostly just hanging around the house and that, so. But most of the time I'll have a kind of stubble. And then when it starts to get uncomfortable, you know, where it gets to that ideal length where it starts to bug you, then I would shave it. And that's been working for my skin. It doesn't, it doesn't freak out anymore. To be honest, I got so tired of shaving, I said, to heck with it. I've often felt that way. Yeah. I've often felt that way. Hmm. <laughs> but never shave. Ah. <laughs> the fluffy hair and the spiky beard. Uh, 
and my my beard is very light in color as well so it gets well, what's the way what's the word I want to say it's got to get quite long before it's it's noticeable you know but I would have to shave every day but I do it every second day I kind of live with the sub all in between even now it's slightly uncomfortable but it's better than my neck being so I've tried all the creams and all of that stuff and I hate the shaving bomb oh that stuff is cruel So we got the levels on these guys we did. See that's what I'm kinda looking for on this. Something like that. That would work. That would work. And doing this will give us a, a pretty, a pretty decent level on this, I think. Oh, hi, Blue Phoenix. How are you? Hope you've been well. I still don't see them. Must be blind. Uh, <laughs> Eating dessert, try shaving. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried that. <laughs> yeah, but a blunt razor, Shelley, is not much fun, <laughs> I can tell you. But I can safely say that's something I've never tried before. That I'm absolutely certain of. <laughs> That would be right up there with slitting your own throat with a rusty razor. <laughs> or stabbing yourself to that with a spoon. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> uh, something like that. I would kind of... No guarantee to be on the same on the same one. You see how it would jump up. Oh, we just go back in and, and there we go. Hit that again. And then of course we need our little plants in as well, don't we? We've got two of them. I see how that one is going in a moment. We're almost finished with this guy. Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> There we go. And this one. I gotta see which direction these guys are going in. I just like these. Well, basically, high one up on the outside. Perfect. Not exactly which 
where we need to be now, so... Again with the settings. And that should be the end of the pool once we set these two. We've got another one out of the way. Thank God. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Driving long nails and catching it. <laughs> Watching. <laughs> <laughs> This guy. That is our second pool, or oh, our third pool, sorry. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> oh, hi TM. Hi, how are you? I hope you've been well. How have you been keeping? <laughs> we're just finishing the last of our pools, TM. This is taking time because we've been doing Skyrim every second day, and usually, you know, the bit of grinding I do on this. I'm doing it in Skyrim now. <laughs> so, what have you been up to, TM? Yeah? yeah, we're finishing the gardens here. And let me just save this and I'll show you. We just finished that last one. Um, It's best, I suppose, I'll wait till night we're at my bed. But we've got our altar in. Remember the altar I said I was going to build? But it's starting to get complicated because you know, we're doing a lot of decoration and design on this thing. <laughs> now, I'll show you what we've done to him. So, this will be one end of a garden here. You see, we got the railings in it, and that's the best we could do on the corners. I went with something a little unusual here on this. I won't see many trees growing in a lava pit. So something like that. The other side will be the same once I'm done. You know, this kind of railings kind of thing. And, uh, you know, obviously this is feeding out to our gardens, but I think you've seen the finished gardens. There's been minor alterations, just some fencing and that. And you can see it here on the side. And then we've fenced all of that on the inside and out. 
I still have something, a few other things I might try. Oh, but I've been, I've been fine, uh, TM. I hope you're fine also. So, the usual thing with this. Well, we're kind of 100% on that, I think. It's about as good as we're going to get it. Um, this thing here. And the front one is a little different. I still have to remodel this entrance. And I'll get around to that in a moment. I'm thinking about trying something new with these pieces in a moment as well. Wouldn't take much to do them. Oh yeah, the inside. Out from the, there's four corners, well there's three corners left. That's how I've done the corner. So, the three corners have to be finished, but out from that then we're, you know, we're pretty much finished on our, our sacrificial altar. Yeah, just to fix these. I don't know what I'll do here yet, to be honest. Um, I'll have a look around later and see if I can, you know, brighten it up somewhat. I was thinking about putting a little light on these, just to finish it off, just for these, for the walkways. Well, that's something I'll figure out later. But once we 100% finish, I'll do these corners and then... You know, I've just got the bedrooms to do here. We've just been really taking our time and just chatting, yeah. What was the drive-in, really? You haven't been here in a while. It is stressful, and there's been much to learn. You can put four hours in into it still. Oh yeah, totally. I knew you call Frankie playing it. Ah. I've been well, just... Oh, Escape from... Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, the big guys used to play the likes of Shroud and that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I missed that one. That game has been around a while, guys. Isn't it? A couple of years, or maybe more. Yeah, maybe a year... Well, probably like two years. Hmm. Ah, you've been having the internet problems as well, Shelley. Yeah, just before I came on, yeah, the internet broke down twice. So it, there's a possibility it might break down again. Uh, it goes for about ten minutes, but you know, so far we've been pretty lucky. Hmm. <laughs> of course, Phoenix. Of course. <laughs> so bedrooms will be here to you. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen it. It's a kind of um like a kind of call of duty thing. So eventually I'll be doing the bedrooms and that, but I wanted to fully finish downstairs and then probably an armory here. So that's everything we've got done so far. Uh, TM. There's still a good bit to do. <coughs> it's the gardens here that, you know, they're taking up the most time. But they're definitely different. And they're by far the most decoration. But the other rooms will go quite quickly. And that's everything we've done so far, TM, on this. But I think you've seen it outside, haven't you? You probably have. Well, it has a presence, all right. Oh, we did our settlement sign, uh, TM. 
Yeah, that one I, I only done a, a day or so ago, two days maybe. It looks like you are building my house, Croc. I'm just lurking for now. <laughs> no problem. Uh, save me. But I got my sign in, TM. Yeah. As far as signs go, it might be a bit flashy, but that's her sign. So we called it El Dorado after I thought it was kind of fitting. I think that's what the Spanish call the lost city of Z, the city of gold, El Dorado. And that's her sign. Well, that's exactly central on the pyramid because I just, you know, snapped a piece on here and brought it straight across so the, the measurement is perfect. And this here is exactly on the same level as this. So it's pretty symmetrical. Hmm. I'm going to cost you a lot to move in. <laughs> heating is bloody worse. <laughs> the heating, yeah. <laughs> oh, I well, thank you to you. What sees me earlier today? Weird. Uh, oh, accent. Oh. <laughs> now, okay, let's load this one up. We've just got one more pool to do here, and we're basically finished the gardens, except for the, the small things that I'm going to check. Hi, Mert. Hi, how are you? Thanks for the host. Appreciate it. I hope you've been doing well, Mert. Yeah, naughty, naughty. <laughs> so this will be, this is a finished side. It's the best I can do. Now, another little touch. I was seriously considered putting some candles on this for a kind of very last kind of tempo look. Um, I can check a few different ones, but I think I know the ones I need for this. That would definitely be the finishing touch. Now, there's also, they're not exactly candles, they're um, Children of Adam ones, although I think they might be a bit much for this. But I think the colouring might be right. I'm going to have a look at them now in a moment, I'll show you them. But they're in here somewhere. So tell me what you think, guys. Now, my first choice was actually this one here. You know, just one plain candle like that. And get it central. Now there's that. Now, these are pretty... Now, there's these. I don't like them. They're too big anyway, for starters. They're coming over too big. Uh, and the ones we used inside her, and to be quite honest, that might be more fitting. But I don't know, as an outside thing, I really don't know as an outside thing. I'd still prefer to go with the other ones. It's basically just those without, uh, without the piece. Uh, let me see what else we have here. Well, definitely not the reeds. That seems to be it, to be honest. I'm not using the lamps. That's a no-go. That, I wonder if I... I wonder if we kind of ditch these. No, not really. They're not worth ditching in. I mean, there's these you could leave a piece of the pipe up. I would have to change the settings on that one. 
Can we find out which of these ones would work? You sound different, your voice seems... F yeah, I think I'm catching a cold, Terry. But my throat is getting pretty sore. So I'm almost certain I'm catching a cold. Mm. At the moment, ah. <laughs> Keep having fun here. Yes. <laughs> no problem. Mm. Yeah, the first one, uh, TM. Mm. <laughs> I think the first one. We need a simple one. You see this one here? This is my first choice. That one there. That was perfect inside. You know, as that kind of look. But this is my best candidate from what I have here. Now, we have also have this. We have a pretty narrow, um, empty walkway. Now... There's one thing we could do here. Let's say I don't intend to adorn this with plants. Maybe I might be able to get something in the corners, but only the corners. So I was thinking, although I don't know, it might be a big job. I'll show you what I mean. I can size these lights down. But just as a kind of finishing touch, you would only have two floors of these to do. You know, there's not... Um, one actually, to be honest, you'd only have this one to do. And I'll show you this, which I'll have a look later and see if it's workable. You see these guys here? Now remember, I can size these to whatever size I want. And I would put them like that in every one, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually worth the hassle, you know, to do this. But they do suit, and they will give a little bit of light. And you would have them, but you're talking about a lot of lights. I don't know if it's really worth it. And I'd have to see as well if you know they're coming true. No, they're not coming true. Hmm, it's possible. No problem, Terry, no problem. I hope you feel better soon. Hi, Cord. Hi, how are you? Good to see And great to see you too, Cord. How have you been? Oh, fine, fine, thanks. I hope you're well also. Yeah, totally, Giants and Fallout 4. May I suggest the other day you do a Fallout 4 playthrough on survival? Yeah, I think that you'd be pleasantly surprised. I'll eventually get around to it. I would have to use a mod, wouldn't I? To play survival. I've never liked playing mods. Strangely enough, even though I do building mods. But yeah, I'm totally going to get around to doing the quests on that. But if I was doing a Fallout 4, let's say, on survival, I doubt I'd be doing settlements as well. That would be pretty hard to do. Well, not hard, pretty time-consuming. Anything is possible. Hmm. It will, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the lights were caught, but out from that, they don't look right to you. They don't look like uh, right, but I do like to, um, you know, just keep trying different things to see how they look. But that would be too many, and it's not worth it. 
you know what I mean? I need something a little different. I'd have to go with my original plan with the plants. Something less complicated. But I always have a look and see what it looks like. You'd never know. Hmm. You could download a mod. You can only fast travel to settlements. I'd find it perfect. Oh, for survival. Cool. And I'm feeling well today. Oh, that's good to hear. But questing-wise, I've always preferred Skyrim over Fallout 4. Although there's no comparison with building, you know. There's absolutely no comparison with building. So, how's your day been, uh, TM? Uh, did you do anything interesting over the weekend? Or anyone? Well, my day today consisted of... Bringing the old ball and chain to um, to some kind of a sale at some store. Oh my god. I really hate shopping with a vengeance. That I didn't look forward to. And I'm feeling well today. Ah, that's cool. So, we'll get our candles in and get this over with. Okay, candles it is. And they were my very first choice. Always your first choice tends to be the ones you go with, but it's nice to experiment a bit. One week? Oh, I'm being lazy. I've had some weeks like that. Did you notice they all seem to come in the same week, all the appointments? You're literally scurrying around trying to trying to meet them. <laughs> oh, doing, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I started um, as a kind of backup, you know how I do every second day a backup game. I started doing um, a legendary survival. So it's survival, but I've set it on legendary difficulty on Skyrim. And yeah, it's actually quite fun. You know, I played it. I have played that game a lot. And um, you know what it's like when you know everything in the game and you know, you're pretty decent at fixing up your character. You know, the game kind of gets a little easy after a while, but I'll tell you, it's not that easy on Sky on survival. Well, on the legendary setting, anyway, at least. The the heating, I think maybe they took that a little bit too far. You know, they've made areas pretty cold, but no real great ways of keeping warm. You know, even if it was some kind of something you had to get, let's say, work towards, or an extra perk, or, you know, I think they should have put in some kind of underclothing you could wear even if it was ridiculously expensive. But the steel armor, basically you're talking about a warmth rating of something like 131. Then the Nord has about 25, I think. So that would be, what, 156. Um, then there's this silly thing you do with soup and fire salts, which lasts for a limited amount of time. I can understand that. But they had this other armor, and it was called Dragon Plate Armor. And then, in big writing, it said insulated, so, you know, kind of... You would think that it would be better than the other stuff, because it said it's basically insulated. But no, it still has the same warmth rating as an ordinary steel armor. So, I don't get it. Maybe I'm missing something. Hmm. I try to keep all my appointments in the same week. So I can spit out so I can get over them quickly. Yeah. Oh, hi, Duru. How are you? I hope you're well. No problem, Terry. No problem. Most of mine... Yeah. My appointments, let's say, are usually 
probably every three to six months, but there can be a few of them. So yeah, within the same month at least. But uh, let's say I can't get them too close together because you know, some of the people who see me would be doing kind of rounds and I'd have to kind of go with their schedule. So, you know, one of the specialists, let's say, would be in Belgium and Holland, then maybe the UK and Ireland, and, you know, it'd be kind of a week in every country and that. But, yeah, usually within the same month at least. But I don't have money. Hmm. Could be caught. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. The second, what, I, what I'll do is, the second I um, I get uh, the stuff, I'll make one, just to see. But it should have been versions of the other armour that was insulated as well, caught. Like, even if it was in there just maybe even 20 warm to 25 warm, it would have been good. It's just that I don't want to be freezing my backside off when I go, let's say, the far side of winter hold. Fall at 76 DOC, the pit is disappointing. Ah, I could have probably telling you that. But you have a point, Court. You could have a better rating than the original Dragon Armour. Well, it's a pity then they didn't have versions of the other armour insulated. But then I haven't hit 100 and spitting yet. So maybe I can actually make them. But apparently 131 is the highest rating. Mm. I think if you go in with a, a Khajiit, you get a little bit more. But I'm not going in as a Khajiit. Coming up on... Yeah... Oh, my guys, oh, well, there's a ton of them. There's one of his um, a renal specialist, let's say kidneys, because I'm always getting kidney stones. Then there's another guy that does the back. And then I think there's another guy for something else. Oh, my, I'm falling apart. Hmm. Fall at 76 to pit is, uh, less. Ah, oh, it's not that good then. Ah, oh, that's a pity. And there should be a way to upgrade a warmth rating on your armor on smitting benches. Yeah. Like, let's say, if you use a bear pelt on the armor. Yeah. Yeah. And then, let's say, there was some kind of hard-to-get skin or something. And that would be the ultimate. That would have been a good plan. Even if you had to work towards it, yeah. <laughs> I'll pass, Derek. Zenimax. How's that? <laughs> yes, 25 Duro. They've got 25. It should be 50. But it's 25. Nord has 25. You'd think a Nord would have more, wouldn't you? But there you go. Yeah, 25 it is, Duro. <laughs> I can't stay on 476 bit, and I'm not even close to getting. Two follow three, I'll have a bit. Zenimax. Zenimax is the parent company of, well, was the parent company of that uh, aforementioned company. <laughs> nice one, Jerry. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> okay, what do we say? Candles. Uh, okay, we wait till morning. <laughs> yeah, they're the parent company of that Todd Howard Rand Company. <laughs> Well, basically, I think it was the two guys, the two founders, that just broke the company, let's say, in two, and Zenimax would deal with uh, the money issues, the business end of it, while 
the other side would, you know, just do the gaming. Ah, some probably some kind of tax ploy or something. But it's Microsoft's problem now. Speaking of Microsoft, um, that new game, what's it called again, that space game from ZeniMax. Um, well, and it's not ZeniMax anymore now, it's Microsoft. Uh, that's coming out November, isn't it? That's going to be interesting. That's going to be pretty interesting. When threatened by raiders, I'll mark it on your map. <laughs> it's just some, we can say, roll them on type scenario. <laughs> oh, the, the Harry Potter thing. <laughs> now. We'll go in and we'll do our, our candles now, that's it. Where is it again? And well, that's the best lighting system I think I have for that. I think that would work. Something a little plainer. So we'll use these ones. What a power. There's nothing I can do with these, they're too modern. Way too modern. So we're going with these. Uh, these have uh, these stress to sell out, but as well, TM. Anything with a lighting effect, to be honest. Uh, the worst ones are uh, the Omni Light Source stuff from SOE. Now we just roughly put them on and then we come back and set them. Yeah, the SOE stuff. Probably hardest on the cell. Especially if you're using the water panels. Well, the water panels as well. Any animation and those as well. Lights. Um, yeah, totally. That's it, Starfield. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot the name. Starfield. Isn't that coming out in mid-November? Yeah. Yeah, Starfield. That's the one I was trying to think of. Oh, if it's got base billing on it, I'll be on it. But if it hasn't, I'll leave it. Let's say till it gets to about six months old when they have it properly patched and everything. Which, you know, it's going to need patches anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely going to need patches. That could actually give us a kind of... You see that green stain? That would give us... um. Pretty decent measurement. Yeah, I like it. We'll go with that. Oh, hi, Mr. Peanut. Building another hypermension. Yeah, we're still on the pyramid. We're doing a little fine touches now on it. Kind of getting there. It's getting late. Good night, everyone. Much love. And thanks for stopping by. Sorry. I hope everything works out for you. I really do. I hope you manage to get a good rest. And, um, and I hope you don't worry too much, Terry. And have a great day tomorrow. Take care and stay safe, Terry. Bye.
Yeah, we're doing the last of the little touches on this. Here, on this one. <sighs> Just, uh, it needed a tiny bit more, so we thought we'd go with something like this. Just to get it finished. We just have one pool after that and our gardens are entirely finished. We're just getting rid of these guys here. Ah, this green, green stain is a good... Where to keep a decent measurement on these? And there's just a few more to go. So, what have you been up to, Mr. Peanut? Hope you've been well. that much more to do on this one. That stain worked out a treat, didn't it? So this is a lot of guessing. I think just three more after this and then we have it. I've been getting that all day, Shelley. But I take one Nexium tablet every day for my ulcer. Unfortunately, during my stream last night, I forgot about it. It was only while I was taking one tonight. I noticed that um, yesterday's one wasn't taken. So, yeah. That's not good. I've got a little bit, but it's totally my own fault. These guys here, I don't know what I'm doing with these. I think I got rid of them. And I'll build them again if I need them. That's it, guys. That's our candles then. there. Yeah, okay, I like it. So, we just have one of the pools to do, and a kind of a little redo on the, um, on the doorway, and then we have everything done down here. And this is literally all I can do with it, to be honest. I think I'll call this side done. That's 100%. Yeah, that would work. Now, the last pool. I'll try one day, definitely. Oh. So, 
So, there's just that pool left. I'm not looking forward to doing that pool, to be honest. I hate doing these pools, but they have to be done. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just save here for a moment. We'll try the front. Now we'll break it up a bit. But that's the last of the flowers and all of that kind of silliness. That's literally the final piece. Now, just one moment while I use a Q-tip to, to scratch my... My ear is quite itchy. I know I shouldn't be doing this. But, you know, heavy headphones, and it's kind of getting humid here, so. That is going to lead to ear infections. You really should not scratch your ears with Q tips. There. So, that's the only one to be done. I've got everything waiting here, I think. Yeah. But we're in no rush for that one. Oh, come on, Crunk. You're going to have to do it anyway. Okay, I'll try and do it quickly. So we can just get it out of the way. Yeah, we get it out of the way. As much as it pains me. That will be 100% on the gardens. But you know me, I'm going to try something here on the side in a moment. You can tell me what you think. Just got to get the pool done. I have another plan. It might add a little bit more, more shape to this. Which I think it's coming, you know, these are coming around a little boxy. But I'll show you in a moment. We'll just get rid of this guy. Might, might not work. Well, it's definitely, it would be easy enough to, to make the adjustment. It would be easy enough to make the adjustment, I would say. <laughs> I think first things first we get we still have the four corners on the other one to do but we'll do those later. These builds always take a long time because of all of the the separate decorations. I did that sunshine tilings in just a fraction of the time I'm spending on this one. do our best to get out of this as quickly as possible. This is why you're always doing something like this, because I don't need too much of those flowers hanging about. There, much better. I 
And I don't want them to be too uniform. So we break them a little bit. That's not bad. Something like that. Croc, have you heard the joke about the deaf man? Um, I've heard a few. I'm not sure what one, but most likely I haven't, shall I? I don't think I have. I don't think so. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> I've heard similar ones, although they never started a little different. Trying to go for another two, a two cluttered look. Well, it's not easy. We're going to get full coverage on this with something like that. It's got to be somewhat cluttered, no matter what we do. It's a pity they didn't have these guys didn't have a, you know, a little bit more coverage on the leaves. <laughs> Keeping both flowers together doesn't it? make it look so bad, I suppose. Uh, too many of those orange petals and it's all going sideways. Uh, something like that would probably do. This might actually work a little better. Well, it's gonna look a little better no matter what I do, I think. Okay, it's not bad. I'm gonna have to do. There, we have a 
ton to go, but that would be our coverage, I'd say. One stir in, if we put in the four shells, if we add the water panels on top, and we can call it on the garden then at long last. It's been a battle. What we got there? In the end... Got there in the end. <laughs> really, how many did I actually make here? Okay. It's not bad, we'll have this in a moment. Get our shells in and get this over with. Thank you. 
There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, I just gotta sleep till morning, get our showers in, and then we can cover it up. Where's the brown front? Ugh, that was a chore. Timing is pretty good. Got anything planned for the rest of the week other than streaming? Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Not particularly, no. Um, like, before the pandemic I had some plans and they were kind of went sideways and it's been kind of hard to get back on track, Shelley. Um, I definitely need some kind of vacation. It's been decades since I had any outside the country. Um, for the weekend, yeah. For the rest of the week. Oh, something simple. Um, no, there's no functions coming up. Um, but I was thinking maybe a little later this week, maybe Friday. -ish, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to do some shopping for me, so I was thinking about getting a train down. You know, down to the city. And having a look around, maybe getting something. There's a wardrobe here. You know, I need to change. Definitely. You know, so it's going to be just maybe a kind of a me day on Friday, I think. Let's go for a Guinness, definitely. <laughs> or vodka. Oh, hi, Lady Grey. How are you? I hope you've been well. We're almost finished the gardens. We're literally just got to do this pool. And then we're done all the gardens. Eventually. Yeah, we put a lot of decoration into this guy. So, how have you been, lady? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. I hope you're well also. On a top shelf mix. Totally shelly. Gotta do that. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Oh, that's good to hear. I think my voice has cleared up now, guys, has it? Yeah, it's it's been a bit deep all day. I think I'm probably getting a sore throat or something. I hate getting a sore throat. I don't mind even getting a cold or a flu. You know, when it's past, it's past. When I get a sore throat, it lasts for a long time. That's the last thing I need. But this is the season, you know. Definitely is the season. Oh, hang on, we're supposed to change the settings for this one. Croc is going through puberty again. <laughs> oh, was I ever telling you that story, shall we? Um before I came here for a little while, I was streaming on Mixer. There was this kid who used to always come around watching while we were building. And myself and FGS used to be chatting at the time in party chat. So we would always leave the party chat open and he would join. But this was going on for months and months and months. And um, eventually, you know, we were chatting away. And then this voice came on in the party chat. And we couldn't recognize the voice but it was that kid he actually his voice broke he went through puberty and um i turned to fgs and i said well you know you've been too long on a playthrough when kids start growing up on your stream <laughs> <laughs> literally grew up watching the stream <laughs> that was a pretty long one <laughs> i said 
FGS of this playthrough is way too long. Right, these guys, so the shards are going in towards it and facing, okay. Let's set these guys in. <laughs> really nice kid. But we couldn't recognize the voice, it was totally different. Like, this guy came on, he said, Hello! <laughs> right, we said, who's this guy? But I can remember... Uh, what ex I can even remember the settlement that it happened on. You know when we did Hangman's Alley? It was the time I did a Hangman's Alley before now. I think that was just before Mixer shut down a couple of months before. Second, let me get rid of our measuring stick. one here there yep now let's set these guys Side. Yeah, it's not bad. And anyway, that will do. We come along with our water pounds, we should be good. I wonder why no one has started another mixer. That was Microsoft. We didn't really caught us by surprise, Lady Grey. You know, Microsoft is a big company. You know, they went all out together when it was called Beam. And they were doing a kind of half decent job. Um, they weren't happy with its growth, although, you know, they, were they tried to rush it. They always do. They're legendary for doing that. They're taught by hiring some mercenary streamers, giving them hundreds of millions of dollars that they would improve the viewers and the viewership. What was happening was people were watching Mixer more, but only when these guys were on, and then they would go back to Twitch. You know, once these guys stop streaming. So, obviously they lost a lot of money. And uh, then shut the whole thing down. But even worse than that, tried to pawn all of us off on Facebook. Did some kind of deal with Facebook or something. You know? But, yeah, we didn't go to Facebook. Uh, we went back to Twitch. But the way they did it was... like. 
most of the really big streamers they didn't even they told nobody they found out from their viewers that Mixer was shutting down and they were quite surprised hmm. I did yeah I'm having a lot of fun I'm doing a survival legendary uh, playthrough that one was cool hmm. still learning about this heat thing and I have found that the NPCs are much tougher but uh, the only way that will set me back is let's say I have to do a little more grinding before I start doing the other quests but I should be able to get through problem pretty easily I'm heading out crock but I'll be sure to stop back off and good night good night TM and thanks for stopping by I appreciate it I hope you have a good rest yeah it must be quite late for you I hope you have a good rest and I hope you have a great day tomorrow TM and thanks again for hanging out all the best TM Bye. Yeah, having a lot of fun on that one, Lady Grey. It's like, uh, I would always play it on Legendary. And, you know, once I grinded up my character, let's say maxed them out, I would always find it too easy. But not this time. But I wonder how much harder it is until I have that character fully grinded, you know. But I know exactly, let's say. I also did another little thing. We have kind of rules on this. It's survival, it's legendary. But we can only use Nord stuff. I went in as a Nord. I can only use Nord armor, Nord weapons. You know, even the enchanted jewelry. I can't use that unless I get some Nord stuff and enchant it myself. So, that's made it harder again, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's more of a challenge now. It's never been much of a challenge for me. You know, once I, I kind of worked out the system in the game. But I think they could have doing the, the heat thing a little differently. Not too happy with that. Like, steel armor has a warmth rating of 131, which is kind of useless, to be honest. Like, even in Windhelm, you're freezing your backside off. Um, You can get an extra 25 points, let's say, if you cook food with fire souls, which lasts for a limited amount of time, which is not much. My Nord gives me about 25 in warmth as well, which is kind of miserable. And that's it, you know. I've heard that holding a torch will give you a little bit more warmth. Yeah, that's the rules. I can only use Nord stuff. You know what I mean? And once I finish, let's say, ranking up magic, I rarely use it anyway, just for healing. Maybe invisibility and a harmony spell. Um... But once I'm, let's say, I'm using uh, alchemy, obviously, alchemy um, stuff, but that's different. You know, ring or peerless alchemy or, you know what I mean, uh, the headband and all of that stuff, you know, while I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. And um, once my character is complete, yeah, he can only use that. And wear it now, let's say, as I'm, I'm doing, knocking out a few of the smaller quests, but mostly grinding on the character. I've maxed out the likes of Pickpocket, which is my favourite. That one went pretty quickly. And that's 100. Uh, enchanting is 100. Alchemy is only about 82. And that's very important to get that one up. Uh, well, Conjuration is not that much. But I would have to get, to get my character complete, let's say. I'd need enchanting. Uh, I'd need heavy armour, which is my favourite. I would need uh, alchemy as well. Then from there, let's say I'd have a decent set of armor. Uh, I would go straight to the Dragonborn DLC as quickly as possible. And I'd pick up that Ardriel's, isn't that what it's called? Armor. That would give me 10% on enchanting. And then with the ingredients, let's say, from uh, the Khajiits, uh, have been introduced through um, the Anniversary Edition. I should be able to get my fire, frost, and shock resistance up to 
somewhere in the 90% range, I would say. Maybe 90 to 95. And that should do me, you know. Now, magic resistance is different. We get tarty, let's say, from the perks. Um, I could make up a bit of jewellery, I suppose. For that one. I'm not sure, let's say, what the potions will do with an enchantment. You know, but I would say... Maybe 35%, 40 Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like the restrictions. We're kind of going in as a kind of a Nord Patriot kind of a thing. Which unfortunately means that I have to team up with Jorfrik. I hate that guy with a vengeance. But I've rarely played, um, let's say, the Civil War with that guy. But this time I'll have to. I even, let's say, when we left Helgen, I went with a Stormcloak guy. On that one. Which, yeah, it's, it's, I'm really finding it fun. I, I want to eventually do a restricted uh, thing again like that. Uh, to what you can wear and, you know, even our weapons. And do it survival and do it, let's say, um, legendary and permadeath. I wouldn't mind trying permadeath into that. But I'd need a few playthroughs to get back into it. You know, but I think it's very, very doable on, let's say, survival, permadeath, um, legendary, with the armor and weapon restrictions. I think it's doable, but I'd need to, to you know, brush up a bit on it again, because on legendary, even without trying, there was a good few ones. Let's say I went through without even dying once. But when we started, even at level 30, 35, we were getting one shot killed with saber cats and um, and bandits. Like even the mud crabs were a problem, and the wolves. But now it's a bit better. The armor in that game, no matter what you wear, will cap out out at about 570 ish. So the armor is not much of a problem because it's capped anyway. So, you know. Once you've got your character fully grounded, you could make, you could get the same protection from a hide armor as you could from a Daedric, if you know what I mean, with the right enchantments. The weapons, however, are different. They're not capped. And the more powerful your weapons, the better it is for you, trust me. So, we'd be losing a bit, using the Nord. So, I would say, with enchantments and potions and all of that, probably... 20% from what I'd get with a decent sword like Daedric I've always preferred Daedric you know the Daedric is slightly better than the dragon stuff however in weapons um, the dragon stuff is slightly better by a few points but not much but it's much heavier oh everything is weighing in this playthrough as well even the lockpicks Lady Grey and what they did as well is they halved my um, weight allowance. So I'd have to grind a bit more on stamina just to replace that. That's been a big problem for me. But I'd have to do a little bit more grinding on that character than I usually do in my playthroughs. I intend to do that when I get the harmony spell. When I'm not streaming, you know. Doing no quests, anything like that, just getting it out. Yeah, it's it's fun though. It's really fun because I've never found that game to be much of a challenge. Um, after I kind of learned the ropes, if you know what I mean. But it really is fun. I kind of like it that way. I kind of kind of looking forward to playing it again, which has been a long time. Well, I've always looked forward to playing it, but I'm really looking forward to playing it now. No problem, Lady Grey. Uh okay. We just need the water pounds in and the plants down. Um Right, let's get our water pounds.
No. But if I was doing a permadeath, I would literally stick to the towns. And, um, you know, I would really grind up that character before I went out. A lot of the game will be taken up by that. It's very, very easy to die in that game, even from falling damage. Now, um... Oh yeah, water powers. I think it's very doable. Probably the easiest way to do this. Oh, we don't want to be there, do we? Okay, one more. We got the two plants in and we're done. to change the settings for the plants and then we can get them in and that will be bye bye to the gardens <laughs> this is not too bad yeah stairs in. So, these ones. Now we'll have a look at the main entrance back. Oh, welcome back Lady Grey. So, what have you been doing lately? Have you been taking a, a little break, like you said, from, from playing? I just finished a uh, Falsker mod quest line. Ah, I know. I think I know the character. He's kind of a kind of dressed in a kind of mage outfit, isn't it? I think I know the character, but I'm not familiar with the the quest. But obviously, it's a mod, so I wouldn't be. I've never done any um, modded um, quests. It was hard. They are, aren't they? 
you know, they're, they're, they're pretty vague. But uh, even in the Creation Club, uh, I've noticed that. Uh, not the Creation you know, well, they are Creation Club mods. In the Anniversary Edition, a lot of the, um, the quests were, well, uh, needlessly vague. And very, very confusing. You know, y you don't know what to do, you don't know which way to go, and it's almost like solving a riddle. I suppose they mean them to be that way, but I don't mind the quest being hard, but being confusing is a different story. Yeah. Do we get these guys in the right direction? Let me see now before we start. We have to have these guys in the right direction. Pretty much. I'm pretty much okay. Facing downwards from here. With which one on the inside? Okay. Small one going in. Want a large one this time. Okay. That's the way we need it. I think that's the way it has to be done there. Purple looked a couple of things up on Google for me this morning and thanks to her. Ah, you got it finished. Back to doing the teas going now. Ah, cool. I've started taking Wednesdays off. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, sometimes, let's say, you know, it's better to do a little less or even take a little break if you start to burn out. And it is very, very easy to burn out. Especially if you've got other things going on, you know. Yeah. Okay, let's get these guys in. Don't look too bad. Okay, I think we got it, guys. That's our ponds done. I think we can call it on the gardens now. I'm back into Minecraft on a farm's farm. Ah, oh, cool. There we go. And that's our gardens complete. Well, from the stuff we have to do. There's a couple of things I want to try on the sides in a moment. I have an idea maybe for making it just maybe a little more... What's the word I'm looking for? Aesthetic. There. Well, we still have to do the front. So, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, okay, we'll sleep and we'll save. I am actually getting a sore throat. I can feel it now. I 
I don't mind colds, flus and stuff like that. You know, you get over that sore throat. That's the worst. So, we've won 100 percent at our garden. Let's save this one. Now, this is what I'm thinking with this. Here, let me just change the weather. So, I wanted to kind of make a double system here on this one. We'll see how this goes. We'll move those angels back up as well. Oh, there for the inside the corners. There's not much to do on the first one now, just the corners, but they're tedious. That's why I left them for a while. Yeah, they'll be going in the corners there, let's see when these are done. You know, I want to get a finish on them like that. But nasty little guys. out of the way as well and we'll see what this will look like I might have a use for those guys later Now, let's give this one a save. Oh yeah, I did this little thing here. I doubt we can do something similar here, can we? Hmm, maybe. 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 Let's give it a shot. And that's a pity. We have a save anyway. Yeah. I forgot about this. I knew there was something I forgot about. Hello, Toby. When did you wake up? Come on. You want me to lift you up? Come on, I'll lift you up. Come on, it's a good doggy. Oh, that's the best doggy. That is the best doggy. You are the best doggy. Yeah. <laughs> there is something I forgot to do. Oh, that's a pity. Ah. Uh, That is a pity. So, where are these guys? Doesn't matter, we can get it. This thing here I needed to do. I 
believe I forgot that one. It's something like that, just going around the border. Hopefully this will work. That was always going to be a problem. Uh, it won't be too hard to fit those back in. Just a matter of getting this right. like this maybe I'll have to be taken in you see that yeah just a tad Just a tad. Something like that, I'd say. Where are you billing? Oh, hi, Digger. I am still not well. I have no idea how I got sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. I'm building at Nord Hagen Beach, um, Lady Grey. It's um, just over across the water from um, Boston Airport and the Brotherhood Base. You know the one with the Pridwin? I wish you could say good, but I am not. Hope you are well. Not yeah, not too bad. I think I'm getting um I think I'm getting a sore throat. But when I come on my voice was pretty raspy. It's cleared out a little bit now. But yeah, um, it's my throat is a bit raw. So I think I'm getting some kind of sore throat, unfortunately. I do really despise them because, you know, they'll last forever with me. But I think it's the season for a tigger, you know? Catching these colds and flus and stuff. Oh, my pleasure, tigger. I think it is the season. I think one more. But I think it really needed that. The statue was exposed on the bottom anyway and I needed to you know, match it somewhat with you know the stuff on the other side. I think it might be a tad high. There. Need a little adjustment. Something like that. Yeah, maybe. We get this last one in. And then we can call it on this. That's not bad. Okay, I think that would do, guys. That's the only thing I was looking for.
Well, might need a little bit more help here, and that's it. Just a tiny bit here. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah. I think that work. Yeah, I don't like the way that one has you know, gone the wrong way, so I'll just have a crack at that again. So, what have you been up to today, Tigger? Oh my god, the humidity. Yeah, it's starting to raise up a bit. And it's only 12 outside. Uh, it's very warm inside. for this old guy. That's a little better. That would do it. guys here. I just need a little tiny, tiny, tiny adjustment. Yeah. Okay. Let's fit these back. A whole lot of... of... <laughs> same as me, really. I'm going to look, Croc. I'll be watching you build on a full screen, no problem. And thanks for stopping by, Lady Grey. Appreciate it. And thanks again for the luck. Hope you get a good rest. And I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe, lady. Bye. And we just get these ones in. I know we have to patch this back up again, but I think it was important to get that little piece in to you know, kind of match the front ish, kind of. Uh, it shouldn't take long. It should not take long at all.
not bad, and then the two side pieces. Oh, I can see a problem here, let's see. Come up just a tad, right there, and that one a lot. There, and then the two side pieces, almost done. Hmm. Not in ages, um, Tigger. Um, I think about three four weeks ago he was on for party chatting for about an hour or something i think he's been pretty busy and i think maybe they might have changed his um his shift time yeah i think probably that's what happened but he's been getting back into wolfenstein i think but i haven't heard from him in ages no I think he might have had a shift change time or something. Yeah, I haven't seen him in ages. I think he's been doing some really, really long hours. I think he's, um... His workplace is doing quite well again, let's say. And then it'd probably have to make up for, you know, the, the losses they might have had, let's say, during that slowdown. There we go. There we go, guys. Now I'm done with the garden. Just had to get that one done. Yeah, that would work. That covers the statue problem as well. Perfect. Now, let's do a little bit of experimenting with this one. Right. I wanted to remove the centerpiece. I wanted to go with two stairs. We block off the midsection. Um, the problem with that is we'd have to... I don't want a big empty spot. So, I might be able to raise it up on a small garden, I'd say. Well, within reason. Um, definitely from there. Oh, we've got one in as is. So, let's say we get rid of this. Now... I'll just get in here for a moment. I'll come back with two of these. And now we get one of these guys here. Where are you? And then we go in with a little garden here. We do that little planting. We need a one for a back here as well. That might not be easy. Uh, the backing might not be easy. 
Um, let me see. That's our only Achilles heel on this. Hmm. I wonder if we move these out. I wonder could we snap beneath, but it would come too too far. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, oh, I know how we'll manage this. We still have to change this a bit, guys. Hmm. Well, this one would go, and then we'd just take the two pieces up and we change it round. I'm going to play an hour or two on Skyrim. Oh, cool. And thanks for the luck, Ticker. I hope you enjoy your, your playtime in Skyrim. Nice to hear from you again. I hope you manage to get a good rest and have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe, Tigger. Bye. I think I know how we'll manage this. And we'll go here with something, let's say, like we've done here. That might work. And then I come up with the middle section here. Um, right. The middle section. Yeah, okay. We might get a snap from that. Uh, hello, Toby. <laughs> he gets under the, the chair here. And he scratches his back like an elephant, don't you? <laughs> That's why he was groaning. Is your back scratchy? Oh, I'll scratch your back. That poor dog. <laughs> scratchy back. <laughs> You're too scratchy, I know. That poor doggy. Oh, steel. But I think this will work. <laughs> you heard him, did you? When you hear him grunting like that, he's scratching his back. He gets under the chair, you know, and there's a kind of sharp edge. And <laughs> he scratches his own back because nobody ever scratches that dog's back. That poor dog. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a good pup. You're a good pup. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that for? It's not my job to scratch your back. You should be scratching my back. Yeah. You poor dog. Would you not go to sleep for yourself, no? <laughs> yeah, there should have been asleep for another three hours. Here, I left you up. Come on, you can go back to sleep. Come on. Why are you looking at me like this? I think he might want to go to the toilet, guys. Do you want to go to the toilet? Yeah, he does. That's his problem. I'll pause this for just... I'll just be gone 60 seconds, tops. I won't be a moment, guys. My apologies for this, but... He's bothering me here, so that means he wants to go out and... You know, he doesn't feign it when he says this, really. He need he really needs to go. I shan't be a second.
Now, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Yes, Max. I think that one was Max. Or it could be from next... It could be from the room next door as well. Yeah, most likely. I couldn't hear it. But it's the microphone on this, Tigger. It's really, really sensitive. It it can pick up stuff that I can't hear, which is not too hard, I suppose. But I was often streaming here, let's say. And someone would say to me, you know, your doorbell is ringing. I can't hear it from my room. But the microphone is really, really sensitive. Really good. When I was picking it out, because my voice is pretty low, I made sure and get something that had a really good microphone. And this one, I think, is... I think the second best on the market. You know, for picking up, you know, um, the lighter sounds. So it's probably coming from you know the room next to mine, or it might be Max. Yeah, it's really good. I can't like I could be here even without a TV on, even without earphones or no noise. Somebody could ring my doorbell. I just can't hear it from my room. The only way I know is my dogs can hear it. They've got way better hearing. My hearing is perfect. It's normal. Um, but yeah. The microphone will pick it up. But I got it especially for that because, you know, my voice is a bit low and I needed something that was really, you know, good in the microphone. But Pomeranians are legendary for snoring. They've got a lot of troll problems because of their breeding. Yes, Rexy, good baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing. What is it? <laughs> okay, let's get this bit in. And again, guys, my apologies. You know what dogs are like, doggos? When they gotta go, they gotta go. Right. But they get, uh, like, Rex sometimes has nightmares, but not that often. Yeah, you do. I seen you. Yeah, nightmare. <laughs> and Toby as well. There, that's the one we need. Are we bring that one around? Oh, where's that one here? I hope this works, to be honest. Well, uh, some similar to the other ones. Oh. This is not coming past the stairway. But I think if we close this up a bit better, it's, it's, it works out a bit better. But it's just getting that guy in now. That would be the problem. Yeah, that might have to be glitched in. Possibility. Oh yeah, that's a big glitch. Oh, I see. Stupid of me. Um, it's actually not that simple. That would actually go down here. See on this one. I better save this guy before I attempt this. And I'd have to do this as well. I think this would actually work. This would actually look a lot better. I can vision it now. <sighs> Alright, Croc. But you see this one here? I can remove this a little later. 
and we go with something a little a little different. This will take a little bit to get done, so we've got to be careful in case we mess it up. That's why I, I did the save. Now, I'm really hoping these can be you know, replaced once we once we take them away because if not we'd have to reload, we're kinda in trouble. Yeah, we might have to come in with different pieces. Now We come in like this. No, it just doesn't want to, does it? Now that is unfortunate. How are we going to manage this one? I would probably have to guess that stupid thing in. Um, one moment. I wonder what it go if we, you know, snap it from the side from here. Okay, there's something wrong with the settings on this, guys. That shouldn't be. Here, I'm going to load this up anyway. Let me find what the problem is here. No. Okay, fair enough. We do it the hard way. We do it the hard way. <sighs> okay. Right. I definitely don't want this, so we'll go with uh, the other guy. we get the piece in in one second. Fill the one beneath. But we'll have to ditch the last piece. Wait, wait, wait. Almost, you silly. There. There. Oh, did we... Yeah, that's not bad. No, we won't leave that in anyway. There, we take you out. Now... These are a lot lower. What's... Okay, there's something wrong here. Yeah, there's something badly wrong here. Yeah, there's something really off on this. So I want to get these. 
Yeah, it's way off. There it is. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Now, we should be able to do this. Perfect. Well, I'd have to change the settings on this little, little guy, wouldn't I? Oh, oh, definitely. Oh, even if I tear this apart, I'm getting this one in. We need a surround going around. And then... We need one of these guys here. We have to smack it in there. And then the other two little pieces as well. Okay. Um... Change the settings first the bed. This might work. And if not, we've got a job. Oh, just one minute. I think I can hear that snoring. Yeah. I've just closed that door. That might make it a bit easier. Yeah, I think the sound was travelling. Now, uh, what do we want to do with this? Okay. Oh no, this is going to be the hard way, I'd say. Yeah, we'll have to get this the hard way. Only two of these. Now this is going to be a pain, an absolute pain. <sighs> and for my life I can understand why this is not why this is not snapping? See what I mean? Oh, I'm guessing that it's the... It's the stupid settings on this. Probably snap now, but it's too late, isn't it? The damage is done. No. 
No. There it is. Stupid, stupid thing. I don't know how we're going to get that back in. Uh, let's see if it was that problem. Ah, uh, we will have to open this up, guys. There is no other way. Now, the big problem is getting it back together again, the Humpty Dumpty story. Right. So we might be able to use some half pieces, I suppose. We're going to find out pretty shortly. chance for the half pieces. <laughs> not bad, not bad. And then one down the center. Get out there. There's always a problem out here anyway. Okay, we got lucky on that. Um, can we get these ones in maybe if we change the settings? You know what I mean? We could get these little guys back. Oh, hang on. That's a bit iffy, isn't it? Oh, that's extremely iffy. Yeah, that's not right. I might be able to use the concrete. Oh, it's the whole thing. It's the whole. It's the whole caboodle. Hmm. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet. <coughs> they could do something like this, I suppose. To be honest, I'd much rather use the concrete. That might work. Oh, hi, Hufflepuff. Oh, hi, Jill. Hi, guys. How are you? And hi, Hufflepuff. Hello, how are you? Oh, fine, thanks. I hope you are also, Hufflepuff. And hi, Jill. We finished all our gardens. So the gardens are one hundred percent. We added this kind of thingy here with some candles, and now we're remodeling the entrance. So we're pretty much done on all the gardens. So just some minor alterations. I did this one a little different at the back, but the gardens are finished. Just remove the beds a little later. The trees look nice. Oh, well, thank you, uh, half a puff. Mm. 
now we're just you know finishing off the smaller details but eventually we'll run out of things to do eventually <laughs> I have an idea as well for the outside a little minor change that might make a difference Well, this is the one we're struggling on now, you know, getting this piece in. This is a kind of an experiment for going with a double one. The wide one was too much and it would cover the, you know, the statue on the inside. We might have to make a few tiny alterations on this to get everything back. Well, I think the concrete would fit on this one. Yeah, it has. It's caused a few problems. But it's not so always the way, Shelley, when you go back over something and try and adjust it. But it's impossible to know what you want to do. Some of the stuff is done and then, you know, you do it piece by piece. But you can learn a lot from this as well. This is one of the harder builds, obviously, you know, anything. That's this ornate will always cause problems, especially if you're using pieces that are not really meant for this kind of stuff. Well, this is easy. I can just, you know, well, eventually get this piece in and... Well, that's if it won't let me. There, something like this, I would say. We just get it out a bit, I think. Okay, okay. There it is. There, I knew you had it in you. There it is. There it is. Now, it's just these two guys. These two ones here. Yeah. I think we'll get this guy. Eventually. Now my only problem is getting this guy here to do, you know, what I wanted to do. I gotta get you to snap your little tear. There we go, guys. We got it. Now we got to get this guy back. think we've got it pretty much now the piece in here will be the next one Microsoft have been spamming me they want me to take an update no what I forgot to do oh Now, my internet before I came on was cutting out. Uh, I think Vodafone had been doing something. It cut out twice before I came on. There is a small possibility my internet might go. 
But it only lasts for about 10 minutes. I forgot to get logged into Discord. Oh. <laughs> Now, this one, this is the piece I want in, yeah, but I most likely have to glitch it. So these are the two pieces here, and then we go along with this little guy, and we we'll kind of put him in there, and those pieces would be running, yeah. Probably that way, isn't it? Let's see what way these pieces are running. Yeah. Now we just need the back piece and then we can put some kind of plant on that one. And then if I want to, I can remove these and put this kind of look in. And the corners. Corners are something different. So, now oh, this will definitely be the last of the gardens. There's nothing else I can see that needs doing. And putting plants around here is just folly. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna be too much. But we got this covered pretty decently. Let's just save that one. So, how was your day, Hufflepuff and Jill? So, the bottom one, that won't snap no matter what I do, so I will have to most likely do something on that. I wonder if we can get something across this eventually. I could let something in. Oh, we're gonna find out now, aren't we? Oh, fine, fine, thanks. Um, Jill went to a store with the old ball and chain. They were doing some kind of sale. So, ducking and diving, uh, bargain hunting old ladies. They can get, they can get pretty vicious. I really do despise shopping. It's Monday, round two. <laughs> true, true. I just get this and we use it as a snap for a moment. So I was thinking with these we could, you know, run a little edge on this. Like this, you know, which might not be the worst thing ever. I think it will work. We just gotta get it lined up. Ah. Okay, we can use that little dimple. You see it? That's if I can get this stupid. Stupid thing to work. A little dimple there. I think if it's something like that, that kind of works, doesn't it? That's way better than having this. Never like that. Yeah. That would cover that part. Yeah, that's cool. And then we do the inside one. And my day was good. Oh, that's good. Tried funnel cake for the first time. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, hi, Colonel. Hi, how are you? I hope you've been well. How have you been keeping? I understand now why people love it. It only took 28 years for me to finally eat it. <laughs> really? <laughs> I always, 
It always felt amazing when Beth and I were just uh, tried it before. So, what have you been up to, Carlo? We're still on this build here at um, North Hagen Beach. But we've almost. Hang on. I'll just show you what we've done. And then we'll get the other pieces out. It's probably best to see this at night, so we'll check it out around midnight. Yeah, we've been on this for quite some time. But we're doing every second day. We're doing it um, in Skyrim. We're doing a, a legendary survival run. That one is fun. So that's been taking up most of my time. Ah, oh, just a bit of practice, Colonel. Practice and patience. That's all everything is, really. So this is what we've been doing on this one. Oh, we're just working on the entrance. I'm not sure if you've seen this one before. But it's a kind of like a Mayan, a pyramid kind of thing. We call this one El Dorado, which I thought was fitting. It is, but the mess is worth it. Nice. <laughs> we put a good bit of time into this. And now it's at the stage where, you know, the little the little things have to be done. We also have our settlement sign up as well, so we've got a good bit done. It just takes a bit of time and patience. Oh yeah, we call it El Dorado. I think that's what the Spanish called the uh, Lost City of Zed, the uh, Golden City. So that's the outside. Now, we just finished the gardens. And basically the other side is exactly the same. We've done a good few water features on this one. And this leads out to another large garden here. Where we have our, our little Amazonian goddess um, shrine. Gives a kind of a kind of uh, ghost rider feel, doesn't it, with the uh, flaming skull? So we've done that kind of thing here, and that's being fed from this here. And just some gardens, really. But I, think, I really think we needed the trees to kind of close it down a bit. It was pretty naked out of here without trees. So that's our back gardens. And then inside, once we finish this, we'll be moving inside. Oh, yeah, it's it's, it's pretty decent, I think. So we've done a kind of um, sacrificial altar, but we haven't finished up here yet, which can kind of see where I'm going with this. I just need to finish the corners here, but each corner will look exactly like this. And this would be our sacrificial altar. I'll put a knife or something on this eventually.
And I still have to, you know, do the corners, obviously. This will break out onto a large walkway that goes all around. I will eventually have to fix up the doors on this. Put some doors in it proper. And then there's a stair system that goes all the way to the top. Yes, that's what I was thinking about doing. That's exactly what I was thinking of doing. That sacrificial blade. Correct. So this will be our bedrooms, but I haven't started it yet. There's just so much to do in the gardens. So I'm going for bedrooms here. And then armory here. You know, mannequins, and I've got some Amazonian outfits. I can dress the settlers in and, um, you know, make the armory here. You know, all swords and stuff like that. And, um, you know, that kind of armor. Here, I'm not sure. The stairs has taken up a lot of room. But I'll eventually figure something out for that. And then we get to the top. I'll just probably put a few plants up here. Nothing much. And that's our view from here. And that's it. That's our um, so far. That's our North Hagen Beach. But we spent a good bit of time on it. Although, let's say, making the pyramid didn't take that long. But, you know, putting the little bits in, that really has eaten up some time. And now we've got to do this, and this center one, I'll be taking these out and adding the cross beams in a moment. Yes, Nordhagen, yeah? It is. We're right here at Nordhagen Beach. It's a pretty big settlement, really. Yeah, that's where we are. Nordhagen Beach. Yeah, pretty close to Boston Airport and the Brotherhood. Yeah, but the brother have a little bit of competition, although not much. And that's what we've got so far. This effect is really just, you know, glitching some lights, uh, some of the yellow lights into the walls, and it kind of, you know, brightens it up. And that's what we've got so far. Well, it's different, all right. I will give it that. Now, we'll keep at this here. And I'll show you what I ultimately want to do with this. And we'll see where the other guys will come in. You see, this I don't want closed in like this. Oh my, I've just seen a mistake, guys. Have you seen it? It's higher. Ah, crock. It's way higher. And it's it's coming out a lot more. Well, it's not coming out a lot more, but it's way higher. Ah... They need to come down. Oh, that's a shame. You see this? I should have done it from the outside. Drat. I might be able to salvage this, guys. Yeah, I didn't see it once it snapped into place. I might be able to salvage this. I just might be able to salvage this. I did snap it from here and I thought it was okay. I forgot to come out and actually look at this stupid thing. But I think I can salvage it. 
Well, the big problem was this, really, you know. But once we got this in, you know, we should be able to... You see this? There. There it is. That's the, that's the one I needed. Yeah, well, it's just simple. Oh, I noticed. I noticed it. Yeah, we can salvage this. We can most definitely salvage this. I wasn't really paying attention. I, I snapped them from the inside. And now let me change the settings on this, but it's basically as simple as that. Hmm. Oh, hi, Wolf. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. I hope you're well, also. How have you been, and how have you been keeping? We finished the gardens, and remember I said I was going to remodel the front? And that's what we're in the process of doing now, but the gardens are finished 100%. We've finished all of the pools and... You know, all of the little side things, and... Oh my. What... what's the... Oh my. What happened here, guys? Oh, you're kidding me. All oh, the candles. Uh, I'll have to place them again. Isn't that a terror? I'll have to use the place anywhere to do them. Or maybe I... Oh. That's weird, isn't it? I fixed all of these guys. They've been acting iffy. I'll fix them again in a moment. I'm quite well. Oh, that's good to hear. I swear, I just think I had gunshots in my apartment complex. Ooh. Be careful there, Hufflepuff. Yeah, just make sure that you've got your door. You know, locked quite well. Oh yeah, we finished this as well, Wolf. We did it a little different than the other one. Well, mostly because of this. Here. But it's more of a match as well to the gardens, I suppose. I get that one a little different. Now we're just working on the front. Yeah, move to the country like me. The only gunshots you hear are the ones you fire at coyotes. <laughs> I have always preferred rural areas, to be honest myself, than urban. I'll get those again in a minute. It's just a simple job. I should have used the place anywhere, really, when I put them in, but, yeah, it's fixable. Just take a few minutes. Now oh, let's get these other little bits done. The country. I've always preferred it. Yeah. Too many. <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, Hufflepuff. But I've found, um, let's say, rural areas here. Um, there's more of... Um, there's more of a sense of community. But on the downside... There's more of people, let's say, wanting to know your business as well, being nosy. So it's kind of trade-off. You know, everyone knows everything about everyone kind of thing. Mm. My closest neighbor is about a quarter of a mile away. Ah. Mind are a good bit closer than that, let's say, within visual distance. But I have lived in areas where, let's say, my nearest neighbour would be a mile or even two. I actually liked it. Although, it can be a bit solitary sometimes, to be honest. But then I was working most of the time, so, you know, I didn't really notice. Hmm. But there's also family. Oh, hi, Blonde. Hi, how are you? Hope you've been well.
now let's get this other piece done and we'll see where we're going with this. We'll just make sure it's all snapping the way it should be. But as I said, I think we have it. There, that's our little problem solved. New. We'd have to change the settings on this guy, but we'd have to be getting him in there. And we try and snap it down. And that's perfect. Oh, hang on, we gotta put these two back. Of course, of course. There. Right, that's everything repaired. And now we're at the right level. Didn't see that I snapped it actually from the inside. And there we go, it's fixed. Now it's at the perfect level. Now, we'll get stage two of this done. And that's the decorations on the front. I could feed my chickens buck naked and nobody would know. <laughs> I'd like that, yeah. <laughs> Just finished my stream. Oh, cool. Oh, you were streaming. Oh, let's go. Cool. I finished the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal tonight. Oh, nice. You got that one out of the way. <laughs> But yeah, I've always, well, that's the kind of preferred rural areas, although I have spent most of my time, let's say, in urban areas. Well, either one doesn't really bother me, but let's say given a choice. Yeah. Given a choice. Um, right. Let's get this last little piece in there. Do the little bits. It's the little bits that take time on this, really. But there's a lot of counties here, and I'd say there's lots of rural areas. And the likes of, well, especially Clare. And Galway, even Cork. You know, once you get out of the cities and the towns, you don't have to go far. There's some nice little villages in that. It almost drove me nuts. I don't want to see another puzzle. Oh, one of those ones with too many puzzles. Oh, yeah, too Tomb raider -y. Yeah. <laughs> That's a word I just invented, I suppose. Tomb raider <laughs> Oh, well. Yeah, I've never been too gone. I don't mind a few puzzles, you know. As long as they're not too silly. My grandkids can around and scream bloody murder and nobody would care. And that's the way you want it. <laughs> they can do whatever they want, as loud as they want. Yeah, does it does that as well? Okay, let's get this mural piece in. This is where we try to make this look somewhat reasonable. I really don't expect it, expect it to snap, but you know we can measure it up a little bit, get it right. Now let's see how it looks from here. 
Yeah, with that kind of gap. Uh, guys, I think that looks pretty decent. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Okay, maybe it might have to come out of the head, maybe. No, not really. There. That's it. Gotcha. That's the one we need. Oh, okay, I have a few plans for that. So, now, you see doing this, the kind of tree of these together is a bit much, so I want this kind of effect here. And this was just basically, you know, just something so we could put in. So, we'll save it here, and I'll get something so we can do the snaps. And then, you know, push comes to shove, we can either put a tree like this, or maybe something like this out front, and then we'll be done with it. There was a fire pit of that you had to cross, an invisible patch using clairvoyance. Ah, it wouldn't have been so bad, but yeah, zigzagging. Now, round two with this little guy. So, of course, we'll need the railings as well. Let's see how we've done the other one. I think we did railings on that. But this is really what we needed for the front entrance because it was way too big. Stupid candles from... Yeah, something like that I want. And where is it going? Way out on the outside. Yeah, way out. I think I'll get rid of that one, to be honest. Oh, okay, I see what I've done here. I maybe put a piece in here. I might have to revisit this little guy. I'm not exactly 100% happy with that. Um. Yeah, that would make sense, actually. Let me see how I've done this one. To bring this one back, let's say, and raise the stairs. Yeah, maybe. And that would make way more sense. That's something we could see if we could do to actually bring the stairs up to this level. How does it look on the other side, let's say, that it kind of level out? Pretty much, yeah. We could remove this and I could put the two corner pieces in. It's actually not bad. Yeah, I kind of like it. It would all depend on the corner pieces, really, wouldn't it? When you stop standing in the air above th all the fire, blood running around mazes and finding levers to, uh, to open gates. Let's see what that looks like. That's actually not a bad look, guys. If I could get the corner pieces in. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Now, let's save this. I was wondering exactly how I did the other one, but now I know. 
I snapped it onto the the piece coming up. Ah, uh, this might work. Not definitely worth a try. So we move this guy out. We take away this one. Getting them to stop now, that's gonna be fun. I can't see it work, guys, to be honest. You know, you need that one to snap in there. Oh, well, maybe. You need that to snap. You know, like so. And then you bring up the stairs to meet it. That would have been the way to go, all right. Um, okay. It's the settings, probably. There, let's give it a try now. But this is way better. We're getting a uniform out across the whole way. He was standing on a pile of cheese, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be easy to get this one to snap, but I think this is the way to go. That's providing we can get this guy to snap again. Well, let's see. Getting it to snap, that's the biggie. Okay, snap for me, guy. Snap for me. Come on. on. Yeah, we know the problem, don't we? I'm committed to getting this stupid thing to snap. There you go. Well, the that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, will that guy go back that stairs while I snap at that different level? And then we might have to do something with the bottom piece. I'll get you out of the way. Here. And here. And we need you to snap right onto it. You know, at a much higher level. No, I said a much higher level. There you go, guys. Ah! Oh yeah, but the other piece is going in, isn't it? Like these guys. That would kind of pretty much hide that. And then I could... What I could do with that is I could raise it up. Maybe a little bit in a second. It'll be something like that. And then we get the other guys back. Well, I think this is doable, all right. I think it's doable. Very, very doable. There. Now, 
Well, my only problem is, you know this. How come I didn't get this? I didn't get it from the other side, did I? That kind of glitching. At least I don't think I have. Well, I've missed the piece, actually. I did. I have got that kind of glitching. No, not really. Oh, it has no... Yeah. It had no side pieces, correct. There was no side pieces. Okay. Might not be as easy as we think, guys. What I might have to do with these is we might have to glitch, you know, something over them again. Mm. That's kind of a pity, to be honest. See, going down will create a line. This not might not be doable. <laughs> the other way is to come across with these, which, you know, I originally thought might be a good plan. And then drop the stairs accordingly. Maybe. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Oh, really? No, I can't grab this. There. I would have to put this one in, that would be the only way. Oh, I see. Uh, that's not bad, guys. Yeah. I think that's how we do it. We would be able to reset the stairs. I think that would work. Okay, we, we've got a plan. We've got a plan. Yeah, we definitely have a plan. There. We've got no glitching, we've got no problems. Right, that's how we do it. And we fix the guy on the other side as well. That would be much better than, let's say, the other one. So, we've solved the problem. Now, just to get that done and that little bit at the back. It was a Daedric Prince. Ah. Oh, and yeah. Shagoa. I think that's how it's how it's pronounced, isn't it? Instead of the champion. I thought I had done uh, something wrong. Overall, the mod was good. It takes you to Hammerfell and the Arkar Desert. Nice. But just a little confusing, let's say, with the puzzles. Cheragoa. Isn't that how it's pronounced? Yeah. That's good, alright. That we could live with. Now. Now, let's see if we can carry on with that success. Now, on the other side.
Well, that was kind of killing me from the start, that entrance, but you know, there is a little snap in the wood. So we can get away with it, I would say. Now we'll just fix the other side. I've never played Oblivion, but I own it. Great game. That was my very first Elder Scrolls game court. Yeah. I'm planning to doing a playthrough one day. Pretty exciting to think about it. Very grindy game. If you're going to max out your character, extremely grindy, but absolutely immersive game. More than a few hours of New Vegas, so... Yeah, many games to play. I'm kind of envious. I would love to play Oblivion again, or even Skyrim, if I'd never played it before. Hmm. A lot of Oblivion lore. Nice. There's actually 50 gates on that, if you want to go to the trouble of finding a more code. You don't have to. There's actually 50. They come out of certain stages in the game. But every playthrough I've done, I've, let's say, closed all 50 gates. In the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. Oh, cool. What a lot of grinding in that game. You'll find the level up um, process in that game pretty confusing. You would need a good few play truths on that to uh, kind of get into it. Hmm. Hundred percent of living in New Vegas, my first time around. I just know how. Yeah, that's what I do as well. I always hundred percent in New Vegas. What you'll have to do is you'll need a main save when you've got to. Let's say there's three achievements. One, you go with a house. Four, I think. One, you go with a house. When you go with the NCR, when you go with the Legion, and then when you go for yourself. So, pick the one you want to finish on, and then when it's time to decide, do a main save. Let's say you want to go with Yes Man, that's, let's say yourself. You do the Legion, you get your achievement, then you reload back, then you go to the house, you get your achievement, you reload back, then the NCR, and then you reload back. But you'd, you'd need a main save on it to get all your achievements in one playthrough. But it's the same with Fallout, isn't it? You know, you'd need, let's say, to go with every faction, and you don't want to do a whole full playthrough again. Let's say just to go in with that faction. Mm. New Vegas is frustrating too. A hundred percent, yeah. The paintings were from oh, nice Oblivion also. Cool. I'll probably do a main playthrough. And I 100% then I will save the other achievements. Ah, from the other playthrough, I see. And thanks for that shout out. I am off to take a bath and then go to bed. I don't know what I need to be better. Take care and see you next time. And take care, Tigger. I hope you manage to get some rest and have a good day tomorrow. And thanks again for stopping by and looking. Appreciate it. Have a good one, Tigger. Bye. Now, let me see if we can get this one in here. I didn't expect this to be complicated, but then after changing the design again, so yeah. My pleasure, Digger. Uh, we get this little guy and get it over with.
Yeah, we know that's going to be a pain, but of course it's going to be a pain. Yeah, I won't have to do the same thing we did before. I won't have to open it up. Well, we can get this. Kind of. There we go. I'll replace these little guys. And then these. Ah, I see. Why is it pushing those pieces back always so hard? There. And we have another snap point. There you go. There you go. I'll get our stairs and our other pieces and then we'll fix the center and then we can fix the back one. The way it should be and just drop that stairs a tiny bit. And that'll stop that kind of little glitch thing from happening. Okay, you, you better. F okay, that's kind of weird. There we go. I'll do the centerpiece in a moment. I'm going to need to get to bed myself. I had a long day. Good night. Have a great day stream. And you too, uh, Blonde. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. And take care. And stay safe, Blonde. Bye. I'm going to make a hot drink. Cool. Then jump on some Fall 4 to continue my playthrough. Nice. I hope you enjoy your game, uh, Court. And stay safe. And this one. The snap is going to have to be decent too. You know, it's going to have to be definitely the camon. Now, if I want to be 100% accurate with this, which we will be, there's a tendency to you know, snap in a different way. So I make absolutely sure and do it this way. Which would probably be the sensible thing to do. And then remove the center one in a moment. Don't be like that. We need to snap on this guy. No, I said snap on this guy, didn't I? Oof. There it is. Now will we get this one in? There. That's it. That's the one. Now we can remove it. There we go, no mistakes. No problem. There you go. I we just get the corner piece on a little bit so that we borrowed. Come on, don't be like that. Ugh. 
there. Now... There we go, guys. We've got it. Out from our little bit of decorating here. And that would be our new look. I think that works a treat. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Just need to scrap these two and then we'll save it. I will lurk in the stream. I like to keep in up on the side when I game. And thanks for that code. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your game. And I hope you have a good rest and great day tomorrow. Thanks again for stopping by, hanging out. And thanks again for lurking. I hope you have a good one, Code. Bye. And you too, Jill. Yeah, stay safe. Have a good rest and, and have a good day tomorrow. And take care, Jill. Bye. Oh, why, well, thank you, Code. And hi, Blue Flowers. Thanks for the rug. I appreciate it. I hope you've been well. We're just doing the last of the really nasty stuff on this to you know, we gotta finish on the the gardens and that, but we got a good bit done. We've made a few improvements. This one will work a treat. Oh yeah. I finished the little centerpiece and we get this done to a finish. Then I'll do that slight adjustment at the back to hide that kind of flickering. I really hate that. Just a matter of stepping down the stairs a tiny bit. Now... <laughs> We need one of these guys to help us here. I think it's in here, is it? Yep. That guy there. Now, it's actually on the outside, so... There. And now... Get these guys here. And these ones here. That's exactly where it needs to be. I think. Pretty much. We move that back in. And that's it. How do we hide the other one? Ooh, that's something I... Uh, what? Oh, okay. Ah. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it has to drop down a bit. I see. Okay, that's that's changed it a bit, hasn't it? Oh my. No, it, it looks kind of okay. It does seem to be... No, it's too high. There it is there. Oh, it's much too high. How will I, um... How will I get this to snap down? How did I do it last time? Oh my. 
Oh, tell me I don't have to take this up again. Oh, hang on. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. A lot of more to this one is we'd have to open this up a bit. That's terrible. Yeah, that's the original one. Oh, I see. Okay. I see the problem. I see the problem. We will have to open it up a bit, guys. Oh, with problems. That was the original um, height of this until I put the other piece in. Now we'd have to get them to snap. That's got to be a thing, isn't it? This is definitely going to be a thing. That's a pity. I was expecting this to go without a hitch. Hmm. I really was. Not a hope. <sighs> okay. Live and learn. There it is. That's where it should have been. Right on that. I wonder if I can get this back together again. Okay, let's see if we can get this back. That's a bit iffy, isn't it? Yes, it's going to be nasty. Nasty little thing. I don't know if we can do this now. It might be a bit late in the game to be changing this design. No, it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Actually, it just won't snap at all, whatsoever. It's obviously the top guy. Yeah, it was. There we go. There we go. Lovely. 
lot of hassle just for this. Now. I would have to snap one on this. Here. Like that. Yeah, and that's messed up now, isn't it? There we go. And then we need to sort out the back ones. Yeah, I'll get you out of the way for a moment. So far, so good. Oh, I think you're one thing we suffered for that one. We're not out of the woods yet. I gotta get this little guy in. what I mean on this stupid thing here. I would have to do it from the inside. There. the pieces were missing. I won't have to make some. No problem. and we have it. That's my big problem, isn't it? <laughs> and 
that's funny. My controller blanked out from there. Let me check my battery level. No, that's weird. Battery level is okay. Okay, I better save this. We need to probably take these out to get these two in. This has been a complicated little guy. I do think we can get it. Okay, two more. two pieces on. be something holding it. Oh, I know exactly what's holding that one. You see, I take this out. It's not getting back in again, is it? Oh, it is, probably. There. Yeah, pretty much. Now. There, it's that piece. Now get this one back in. You look good. Looking good. Perfect. That's it. We got it, guys. That's it. All that for that little piece. Oh, hang on. We gotta fix this guy. Don't we? Remove this one that and then we should be okay. But it, I think it's much better. I know it was a lot of work getting that piece in. It's much better to get that on the ground level and have that open up, having three of these so close together. just looked horrible. Absolutely horrible. See that? I see the turn on that thing. There. There it is. There's a the perfect spot. There we go. Now, 
Let's save this and we'll see. Yep, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. wrong. <laughs> it's actually wrong. You see this one? Yeah, let me get, let me get that. I'll fix that. Ah, uh, stupid glasses case. Right. Gone forward a little too much. Oh, that's where it snapped. So, Should have pushed back there. That's really complicated, this, isn't it? Hang on, let's see how these ones are, I think. I think this one is wrong. Seems to be right. Yeah, We're not going to get it through there, are we? There's no way that's going to the center. Yeah, both of them are going to the center. Sheesh. It's the other one. It's this guy. He's going to be over here. Rat. Um, okay, I just get a snapping point for this guy. So we can get it in easily. There. That would have to. I can't see this work. I might have to change my plan after all of that. No, it's definitely that one. going right to the center like that both of them have to be s smashed over a little bit I think that is center oh it's this it's probably this Ah, oh, you silly, silly guy. No. That looks okay. I don't get this, to be honest. Hmm. 
But either way, it's not snapping right. Stupid. And that one there. It's totally that one. Should have been somewhere around there and that's a pity. It should have been something like that. I don't know how I'm gonna get these guys to snap now. Looks to be central. I don't know where I went wrong on this. I was trying to get my mind around this stupid thing. But as far as I can see, this one needs to be moved down, but then it opens up too much. Doesn't really make sense. Hmm. I would imagine it's this one here, but... They're dead center on this. So it's definitely not that. Uh, I totally can't get my mind around this one. All of them are snapping correctly. And, uh, yeah, you move this one forward. But if it's anything at all, it's this one. But then, you know, both of them are meeting. No, the snap is, is totally wrong, guys. That snap is a mile off. Uh, we won't be doing that. I'll have to come up with another look for this. That's terrible. That's horrible. I didn't see that. Oh, hang on. I'm not having that. I still want the bottom piece. So we'll lift this up and we'll work it from here. So what could we do with this? We'd have to go with gold. Um... That's... Brutal. Well, we've got all the groundwork in anyway, it's just getting that stupid piece done. It must have been the snap I had. It probably snapped on to um, the bottom pieces. Ugh. Yeah, that's totally wrong. Like the other ones, I think both are hidden, isn't it? Gonna find this out now in one moment. Yeah, basically, both are hidden too in the corners. Had no problem on that end. They're even too long. Yeah, they're even a mile too long. Hmm. Okay. Let's get this fixed. Okay. 
let's see who wins this one out. It's the two half pieces. I think I have a way around that little problem. Got you to have much love. Oh, hi. Hi, little bee. And thanks for that. I appreciate it. I hope you've been well. We've got a little problem here that's... It's not going to defeat me. Not if I can help it. Okay, let's see our little problem. <laughs> it's the bad way that, that really messed me up a good bit. Now let's have a look at this. Yeah. Okay, I've just got fried. Now let's have a look at this. Oh, I think I know where I messed up. I actually think I know where I messed up. There it is. Stupid of me. There. Wrong size. Now let's see. There. Okay. Oh, let's see, is that where we messed up? I think it is. That's what happens when you try to save the materials. They just get in your way. And that's where I messed up. Oh yeah, we'd have to change the settings, but I think we have been this time. We'll get this fixed in no time. Now, I was wondering why they didn't snap before because, you know, I didn't have a problem with the outside ones that were actually too low. Like, they should have snapped all the way around like this, like kind of no problem around these. They're doing now, apparently. Should have known, really, when they gave me that much hassle. Had it was something amiss.
there. That's it guys, see what I mean? To be honest, even at that, it looks a bit iffy. This one will have to be done again. This is amazing, to be quite honest about it. Yeah, it's this. You see this one? It needs to be pushed back. Absolutely amazing. See these? That's dead center on there. And you see the difference here? It's one piece off. should be that should be the right fitting that's kind of ridiculous guys isn't it I really don't know what's going on here that's in truth I haven't a clue what the problem is. Idiot. I know what the problem is. It's the stairs. That's dead center on that. No, that's dead center on that, so... Oh, I really don't get this. That should be forward. We we'll go forward. Ah. I'm gonna get this if it kills me. If it kills me, I get it. Hmm. I realize I need to move. I need to buy an RV and live in that. <laughs> Well, that's dead center. So what's the story with these guys? A smack on the edge of that. And that smack on the edge of that. I don't see a problem with this one. that. That should be there. But even the space, if you see what I mean. You know, even the space is off.
It's probably something we've got to do with this guy here. I still can't work it out. But this guy here, and I don't want to do it the hard way, but... You know, that should be... Basically there. And that would be perfect. You know, that's all lined up. I'll do it this way if I have to, but... You see what I mean? That's pretty much perfect. But what's really killing me is how the snap is now, let's say, coming from this. Confusing me. Like, from here, let's say, one piece, this should be perfect. You see that one? It seems to be now. Maybe it pushed in too far. There. How stupid. There it is. Okay, let's finish this. That's snappy house for you. I don't want to have to try and guess any of these pieces. Now, when you're using this system, you should... Everything should snap. There it is. Oh. At long last. See what I mean? That's it. I never had God is this hard really to do a piece ever. Now Oh, and these guys. I think it's something got to do with here, how it was snapping or something. It was pushing in just a tiny bit too far. There it is now. Oh, nice, I scrapped the one that I should have keep kept. Not to worry. There, just fix the floor and then we're done. That was pretty confusing, that. I can't explain how, let's say as we went down, it must have been literally snapping a little bit back too far on this or something but mm, shouldn't be You see that? It's not there the way it shouldn't be. A little piece. There. Well, that was an experience. Oh, well, we got through it eventually. Need the patience of a saint for this. But I did everything right, you know, I lined these up and I got them snapped, but just couldn't get center on it. There. And that's how it should be. It must have been this section, it must have been snapping wrong, pushing back in a little too far. But it doesn't matter now, we got it done. Although I did delay us a bit. There it is. High time too. 
Now, I'll leave the decorating here in a moment. At least that's done, but there's a little bit at the back. Remember that kind of lipping? I don't anticipate that giving me a ton of trouble, but it could be famous last words. You see what I've done here? You see the glitch? I just need to snap that down a little further. It shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to give it a shot, we'll see. Oh, I want to see if I... I'll actually save it here. Not sure if I've saved it on the other one. I suppose it's best we get this done perfectly now while we're at it. This is the thing I have an issue with. You see that? The other one snapped down that little tiny fraction and I was hoping, you know, these would do the same. Now let's see if this is possible. If not, I'll find another way later and I won't waste too much time on it. Probably not. Let's see if I can force it some other way. It's the other one did snap. I think it was... Oh. No, that's not going to play ball with me. Um... I'll come back to this later anyway, I don't want to waste too much time on it. Like, I could do something like this. I could drive something through here and we, pu we could push it down, but we'd, we'd have to be careful. Um, I suppose I could use one of these. I might be able to use the bed. But it would only need just a tiny bit. I would have to stop the snap for a moment. I'd use some kind of glitching post on it. I just need to drop it down just the tiniest bit to stop that. But just keeping it straight as well. I could use one of these. Oh, it's going to be hard to stop that, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be... Oh, hang on. Maybe not that hard. Just needed a tiny, tiny bit. The piece I have in the back will take up the slack. Ah, uh, 
you're going to be a problem. Um, I am totally not taking that out. Uh, let me see. There's always a way. Always a way to do this. Is that any better? No. Okay, is that any better? Oh, you're gonna give me a hell of a, a problem here, aren't you? Um, I don't think there's any way we can stop that guy <laughs> from snapping. Um, that's a pity. Oh, there it is, there it is. Just the angle. There. Just that tiny bit is all we needed. I know it doesn't seem much, but I think that would do. Now let's see. We'll put this guy back. And we see if that glitch is gone. And there you go. There you go. Okay, I know we'd have to move these because it's, you know, it's slightly different now, but I think we could manage this one. <laughs> that was a disaster, wasn't it? Okay. A total disaster. Not a hope. No. There's not a hope of dropping this. I can't stop it snapping. That is a pity. There's no way I'm gonna move this out to get that done. That's a shame. There, that would do. I'd settle for that. What did that actually snap on? Oh, I see, just below it. Okay. Let's see if we can get the other one like that. It's just an angle we've got to approach it at. Okay, let's give that a shot. Uh, if push comes to shove, we might be able to use these coming across to, to get the other level on the other one. I think that's how we do it, guys. Oh, 
Oh, this is breaking my heart. Come on. Shouldn't make much of a difference on this. I'm hoping anyway. There it is there. Now we just drop that one down. There we go. That's it. You see, we'll take up the slack on this. Now. That would be our new level. Yeah, no biggie. No biggie, that tiny piece didn't make much of a difference here on this top part. Well, that one is pretty much the same. That's not good until we get the bottom one in, is it? Where are you? There you are. Okay, we're almost done with this one. Uh, it's gonna kind of fight me a bit, isn't it? There, that's one. That's one. I don't know where that came out of, guys. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll have to find out in a moment. Oh my god, what's this? Oh. 
probably from here. No. Where did I come from? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I did the corners there, but I think they can oh, in here. I think we might have did these, didn't we? Uh doesn't matter. I'll fit them back in a moment. So always something. Uh, I'll probably put them in here, I'm not sure. Once we fix it, I'll reload and I'll see where they came from. I think I put them in this one, in these pools. Yeah, once you move something, it all goes to pot. That doesn't seem too bad. But that's it. We got the little glitch thing here fixed, but at the cost of moving these, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six of them. I have not got a clue where I had them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here. That's before we touched it, isn't it? It is. And then I'll load up and see where they came from. Oh, hi, Rock. How are you? Just popping in to see what you're up to, mate. Um, yeah, we basically... We got all the gardens finished. So we're done with that. We had a massive problem in the front and back here. But we eventually got it. I just got to get the decorations on that. So we changed the front a little bit. I think we'll work out a little better. I didn't do the rest of this. This been a bit of a nightmare getting it. There was little glitches here on this, so we dropped the stairs a bit, uh, and it's fixed it quite well. But these guys, they were attached somehow, so. I'm going to load this up, here we have that one saved, and then I'll see where they actually came from. Yeah, it's coming along. I'm almost finished the gardens, it's just some nasty stuff that... Okay, there's none in here. I wonder where those six came from. Ah, that has me... It's probably in here, was it? Ah, oh, here they are. There's four here on... Ah, it's come from here. It has. It's strange that these ones moved. I probably built them on that. That's what happened. I probably built them on that, so then when I moved these... Okay. So that's what we had. And four in the corner, eight. There's two probably glitched beneath the map. Right, let's get them fixed. <laughs> when I built them, I built them on the stairs. I did, actually. Nowhere else they would build. But we got that little thing done, so... This one. Yep. Yeah. 
The other guys are God knows where. <coughs> yeah, I built them on the stairs. Now it's coming back to me. Probably best off in hindsight if I bought him a place anywhere. Then I wouldn't have that problem. So, how have you been, Irock? I hope you've been well. Well, basically, once we fixed this, and then the candle, something happened to them as well. We fixed them, and then we're done on this floor. Oh, this is nasty. The problem with this is we'll have to move the water pounds to get these back in. Well, it's always the same. Once you do a build and you start to change it, you have these problems. I've been chatting with modern firearms, 2.6 modern order. I've been tested on there for Xbox. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, we'll have to do this the hard way. Like this. But it's the sacrifices we had to make. We're going to get this done properly. That's nasty, but... Has to be done. And then we'll be finished. That's cruel. Right. And this time we'll use the place anywhere. There we go. I didn't, I was never expecting to move the stairs, to be honest. I am good. Ah, oh, that's good there. Just burned down after focusing all day. I know what you feel like. It's pretty easy to get burnt out. Yeah, I built them on the stairs. But I wasn't expecting to move it in my defense. There's two missing. I could guarantee they're just beneath the surface, so we'll just ignore them and... go like this. Okay. Yeah, we can use that as a marker, I suppose, here, this one. There, I would do as a marker. That's a pity. I don't see many problems that say as we build up, but just the gardens were a bit of a grind. There. Yeah. Now. Oh, 
a bit of a grind. Hmm. So you want if you play on survival or very hard combat is swift and lethal. Nice. With m modern firearms, yeah. Really need to be deathly careful. Lots of realism. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, two missing. They're probably way beneath the map here. So we just make two more. Repair that and then we're done. Uh, at least we got it done. There, that was kind of uh, ticking me off. You know, the, the, the kind of glitch on that. It happens when two objects are like, in exactly the same place and one just keeps breaking through. But at least that's sorted and it's all matching. The two that are lost are probably beneath the the foundation, so they're not much of a problem, I should say. Yeah, you see how these ones... Oh my god. Yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, there you go. Oh, we're probably in the red zone here. How silly of me. We're probably in the red zone. There. One for the other corner, and we'll place back the water panels. And that's it. Yeah, we're in the red zone. There. Ugh. I hate to redo something. Okay, I changed the settings for this guy. Now, just fit back in the panels. And we have everything you know, pretty much perfect. Yeah. You should give it a go. Yeah, probably sometime. I think he'd really like the challenge. And he redid all the sounds as well. Nice. Each rifle. The LMG, the SMG, and sidearm are fully cost. Oh, nice. With multiple options. Sounds good. doing these ones, but let's see. Oh, man. Red zone. Red zone. Forgot about that one. So, it's November, isn't it, um, IROC, that uh, Starfield is coming out. That's going to be interesting. I'll leave it till a good bit after its launch before I get it. You know, I want to see some gameplay. I don't really trust Cinemax anymore, to be honest. 
you know, even if Microsoft did take them over. Just a few of these. He asked me to test it because of my military background. It feels really realistic to me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you would be familiar with the sounds and that. But to be honest, I couldn't tell one of those sounds from another. Gotcha, there you go. Oh, maybe a bit too much for some reason. Oh, really? There. That would do. One more. I'm going to wait a bit and see if it consistent first. I lost my respect. Yeah. Oh, the game, yeah. Elf 76, yeah. Well, they've been going downhill since the Elder Scrolls Online with me, to be honest. Um, I've always expected bugs in their game, you know. Fallout 3, uh, New Vegas, Fallout 4. But at least the games were, you know, really good. Maybe the story could have been tightened up a bit, but... The Elder Scrolls was pretty buggy when it came out, but I'd say not as bad as 76, but... It's just the whole concept of it, you know? I think the Fallout series and the Elder Scrolls, you know... They were always um, single-player RPGs, and I don't know to see them out from that. Just couldn't get used to it. Okay, we'll try that one. There we go, guys. We've got all eight of them back in. Don't know where the other two disappeared to, but... We've repaired this. 
If you see them, give me a shout. There's two of them missing. But I think they're glitch be underneath the foundation, so that's that's kind of okay. Not bad. Okay, all the little things that were annoying me are all fixed. No, they don't care. They literally don't care. And why should they? You know, it doesn't stop their sales. And then, unless it stops their sales. Like, why bother wasting time fixing bugs and making a game a little better when your sales doesn't drop? Probably even gets more. It's much better to add more stupid stuff to a game and get even more money from it, making the game, you know, more unstable as you go along. But the Elder Scrolls, um, you know, was their jackpot, to be honest. You know, especially Skyrim. And then, you know, they were lucky enough to buy that IP for Fallout. But I think, really, the guys that brought them games together, you know, I don't think they'll last long in those places. I think they've moved on. And a game is only as good as, you know, the amount of work that's put into it. And, you know, story and lore-wise and that. Then eventually they move on and you get another crowd that, you know, you get developers and writers that have been influenced by games like, you know, Fortnite. <laughs> or else they're following stupid trends, you know. But it's much like, let's say, the tobacco industry, where they would have certain kind of commercials and that, let's say going back 20, 30 years ago. But now, let's say, all of the customers from that era are mostly dead. And they, they tend to, you know, have their advertising campaigns, let's say, with something kind of relevant, let's say, to attract kids to smoking and stuff like that. So, you know, I think with games, really, they try to take cues from other successful games, you know. But they were all kind of like multi-online players type games, you know. So I think they're trying to... Um, attract the younger players or more players players that would be interested in those kind of games and absolutely ruining the game hmm. there was yeah it was the same with movies you know but I suppose the generation before I was taught the same as well maybe it's a generation thing But it's impossible for me to adapt to the type of popular games they're selling now. Like even Elden Ring. Just not my thing. You know? The games seem less to me. You know what I mean? And, you know, out from the graphics and that, you know, they're pretty straightforward. Elden Ring is just really, you know, travelling from one boss to another. You know? I think all of the really good games now... Oh, excuse me, are on PC. I think what we're seeing is, is mostly happening on console. You know, where they're, they're going with that um, Black Desert thing and Fortnite. You know, and stuff like that. I don't mind the Call of Duty and those ones, you know. They seem to make a bit of sense, you know. You know, messing about with your friends on that. But there's so many of them. Right, okay, I think we've got this fixed. Oh, we got our stairs done, but that's it on the gardens this time. And that's a whole lot better than the way it was. I should have fixed that from the start, really, but got carried away doing other stuff. Didn't expect it to be so hard to come back and redo it.
And we've got this guy as well. Now all we got to do is plot something here. So what I'll do is we'll sleep and we'll save and I'll see I'll see what we have to fill that up. Well we don't really have to sleep. But we do have to fix the weather. But a lot more variety of games on, on PC. Yeah, I've seen my kids, you know, with them, so many games. There was one that kind of took my eye there for a while, like that Valheim, was it? I know it was kind of rough around the edges. It was kind of like a, like, a, like a, an indie game, but it looked pretty decent. Oh yeah, I think so. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's made them lazy. But I think the story in games have have suffered a lot. Uh, it's taken a back seat to graphics and Everything now is in games, you know, you're, you're going f to fight someone and get some reward, you know what I mean? And it's usually, you know, even if you're lucky enough to find an NPC in a the game these days, I just tell you to go collect something and kill someone. Oblivion was was much different. You know, every single quest on that, you know, had a story. You know, something you could reasonably follow and, you know, if you were nosy enough, maybe read a few books or actually wait to and talk to everyone, you know, you'd kind of know where things were going. I thought that was brilliant. Oh yeah, we've got to fix the stupid candles. Okay, um, here we go again. Don't ask me how that happened, but it did. Oh, of course. Once I started messing with the floor, it's pretty silly. I kind of go all over the place. Like so many quests, let's say, in Oblivion. And every single one of them, you know. Like, remember that guy, let's say, in the city? You remember he was running that little store? And you had to find out where he was getting his stuff from. But some guy was actually doing some grave robbing, you know? It's a pretty interesting story, there was tons of them. Or the guy outside town, uh, remember the mage? Turned everyone in the village invisible. And then the guy, let's say, where you get a water breathing ring. You know, go, uh, I forget that one. All of them, you know, pretty decent. And they didn't give you, like, a ton of information. Look at that, isn't that silly? So, you had to do a little bit of investigating. Not not too much, you know. It made it more interesting. Yeah. Or a variant, yeah, but I refuse to be... Nah! It doesn't matter. Like, everything has been done, of course, in some stage or another. But, like... They don't think of that, let's say, when they come out with another movie that was like something from 20 years ago. And then the excuse to use is, well, you know, it's a different generation now. You know? But if if you were to keep going on that, everything was done. Well, if everything is done, why bother? Why even bother making a game? <laughs> but so has what they've been doing. Just doing fetch quests. And that's been done as well. Nah, just lazy. It's cheaper, you know, they could just get some guys in and, yeah, that's it. Bang it out, get their money. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but like, uh, everyone has not seen what has been done. You know, you could use that argument as well. It wouldn't take much to change a story. Like, like, even if we got together and there was a certain quest, you know, you could make up a story. So just make it up. <laughs> yeah. 
okay, it means a little bit more work, a little bit more dialogue on the NPCs, but like just something to to get you interested, you know. Instead of approaching an NPC and you know all of a sudden he tells you uh, some lame story, you know, my dad's sword was stolen. Go get it, you know. Oh, here's your reward, you know. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, what were we doing? Oh, the candles, of course. Okay, this this should work. But why they moved is beyond me. I think it was when I was messing with the floor. <laughs> like what happened with the stuff at the back. But a good example of how, let's say, every successive game, um, the games might be getting better, let's say, in what you can do, the graphics, and... Oh, great. But let's say, take, for instance, Oblivion. How the stories were done. You know, how everything kind of worked together and even compared to Skyrim you know Skyrim is a pretty good game let's say it makes up for it in a sense but the stories could have been done a bit better like there was even some quests there that they pulled from the final cut from the game and didn't remove you know the pieces you know there's some bodies around Winterhold you can find out in the wilderness well, that was a game. That was a quest for the college, and some of the dialogue is actually still there. Where the guy says, "You know, the apprentices are missing. You can find the apprentices." Um, but the quest was cut. There's another one as well. And there's um, it's near the entrance to Blackridge, and there's this kind of pass you go through, and there's a skeleton head which actually has a name, so that kind of attracted me. And um, it definitely looked like it used to be a quest, but I think that might have been tied up to that, you know, headless horseman thing. Lots of stuff was cut. They would have been interesting. But, you know, Skyrim is not too bad. Maybe they could have done a little bit better on the writing, but it's still pretty decent. And don't ask me how that happened because I fixed all these guys perfectly. For some reason, they they moved out. It's gotta be when I was messing around with the flooring. doing something the second time, but... Ah, those are the bricks. Yeah, these were perfect. It's got to be when I was messing about with the flooring, I'd say that, you know, move these. It is, yeah, it is.
You want to make all placements. I suppose you'll teach me, Ghost. Cool. Fallout 4 was the next project after that. And the main story was rubbish. Yeah. It could have been done a lot better. Um, I rock. And this is a problem ghost with uh, place anywhere. They can move from time to time once you disturb the foundation. Yeah, that should do. I think we got them all. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got the garden done, really. Should be done. So, all we need is something in the front eye rock. You know, something there. We better see to a morning. So I'm really scared. I am, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I've just seen too much from all those guys. The stupid promises. But when I heard Todd saying infinite worlds, I knew we were in trouble. You know, that's impossible. Now let's see this one. Now let's have a look at this. So we need something here in the center. Hmm, we're not going with a tree anyway. Well, yeah, maybe. The statue thing is out of the question. Well, I think we got most of it. I think we have most of it. All the gardens are back in shape after we fix the stairs, so... I don't think we need anything else outside. I don't know too, too much in this cell either, because you know what way that, that goes after a while. What area am I building at? I'm building at um, North Hagen Beach, Ghost. Uh, we're doing this on Xbox. I'll just show you. There it is, North Hagen Beach. We put a decent amount of time into this one so far. But we've only got two gigabytes on Xbox, so. I've only got, you know, three main building mods, SOE, USO, and Snappy House Kit. And these pieces were really meant for, um, balcony areas. But we managed to snap them together like this. Yeah, it's just this, and then we can call it, I'd say, on the gardens. Get rid of those, that junk in a moment. Get rid of some of the beds. Oh yeah, we got to fix the corners here on this. As well. I want something like this. Let's say on the corners. And then I can eventually start the bedrooms. I'm not going to lie, you sound so much like an NPC in Skyrim. <laughs> really? <laughs> but I'll see you later. Have yourself a great stream, man. And you too. And thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good one. Take care and stay safe. Bye. And thanks for following, guys. And welcome. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, 
it would be nice if we could finish this before I go. And the corners and that, and that little treating outside. And then I've only the two stories above I Rock. Uh, you know, they're not that big. I should be able to get through them quickly enough. But the gardens, yeah, they took a long time. Especially when I remodeled them, they caused me a ton of problems. Right, let's get that little tree thingy done. I mean, see, CD Project went from which a tree, game of the year, garbage release. Yeah, uh, but they're a classic example of what I've been saying. I've been saying it for years. Uh, that they're like, if you want an example of what I've been saying, that's the one. You get companies, and let's say that start off, um, you know, there's a f maybe four or five guys who found it and they put a lot of work to put their heart and soul into something. Um, they do really good work, you know. They, they do their best, and you can see it in the game, you know, the stories and, and whatever, and that's, you know, your CD project. Um, then, let's say, they make a good game, and they start to get bigger. The money starts rolling in, you know. Um, then they start selling shares and all of that. Then, you know, you get investors involved, and you get corporate, and that's it then. It's all over, you know. Uh, you get corporate coming in, they're trying to cut corners, they're trying to, you know, work on their reputation, get stuff out as quickly as possible, get it out before release, you know, and that kind of thing. And that always happens. You see companies, let's say, like, um, they were sold wanted to Microsoft the other day. The guys that did Dragon Age, uh, I forget their names, the original founders of the company did some good work, you know. Um, although they were always kind of heading towards the microtransaction thing anyway but it did some decent work um, you know started let's say getting big and then the shareholders and all of that stuff and the guy sold off his company and basically just became ceo and then didn't like what he's seen after a while bioware that's the one and then just you know went off and that's what you see with all of them you know where you'd see games would promise now, with story and potential, would be indie developers, you know. But they're all on PC, well, you know, unless they get really big. But you see, the problem is, once these, like they were all indie developers before IROC, you know. And once they get big, uh, once the money starts rolling in, it's not about a game anymore now, you know. But it's a combination of greed and it's a combination of delusion in a sense that you think you can sell a massive chunk of your company, maybe 50, 60, 80 percent, you know, and thinking then that you can do the same stuff you did before. It's not going to happen. You know what I mean? It's going to be it's not going to be about the game anymore. It's going to be about, you know, paying back those stockholders, you know, getting the stocks to, to raise up and, you know, then you start, you know, abusing your staff, making them work long hours, you know, getting guys in like slave masters, um, paying them less, hiring people, let's say, not fit for the job. It goes on forever. Hmm. You know, they're, they were all indies at one stage. That's just the game, you know what I mean? But it was different in our time because we go way back to when it all started. Uh, you know, I know the graphics wasn't good, so they went with a good story. Well, you know, stuff like that was expensive. Games were expensive, you know, PCs and, you know, even consoles when they came out for the first good few years, you know, not everybody had them. Uh, times were different. So the people buying the games were young adults and adults. You know, so if a game was buggy or stupid, you know, no one would buy it, and that was it. So they had to make them decent. Plus, uh, the guys that time, you know, 
They weren't doing it for nothing. They were getting good money. And, you know, that was enough. You know what I mean? They weren't getting obscene money like they're getting now. So they were in it for the love of it. Um, but then, let's say, as times changed, uh, kids, you know, uh, buying games. If a kid finds a few bugs or, the, or if the game is not uh, that good, they don't really care. You know what I mean? It's bought as a kind of babysitting tool. And to be I, quite honest, I don't finish them anyway. I have a kid there and he has like 200 games. I don't think he's finished 10 of them. And he play one for a few days and then that's it and go on to the next one. So, you know, it doesn't really matter to them. We were different. We wanted to get something for our money. That's another thing as well. So if if you make a bad buggy game and your st sales are still the same, there's no deterrent to stop you from, you know, doing that again. And I suppose you're saving money because you're not putting the work into it. You know, when you're getting them out quicker, you're actually making money, more money. But I still can't understand, you know, so Skyrim was pretty successful and so was Fallout 4. Like, even if they wanted to pursue other projects, how they couldn't be working on that in the background, you know? But I suppose what they did is they had the same staff and they worked them to a standstill. And they couldn't do both or three games at once, so, you know... Probably that's the way it works. Now, um, oh, yeah, the tree, the silly tree. All right. What will look reasonable here? Well, if push comes to shove, we can go with something like that. But I'm not so sure about that. It will probably be something like that. You know? But it's a bit low here. It's not exactly raised up, so... We'll see what we have. I don't think the statues would be a good look. There's too many together. Oh, I'm almost up to my time. I should have enough time to do this one piece at least. So, uh, no statues. That's a waste of time. Um, well, the floor is not much better. I, I don't think a tree would cut it, to be honest. And the other stuff is a bit low. Oh, here's our trees, anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, speed, all about speed. Can't have a guy, you know, spending a week or two weeks trying to figure out, make a good story, you know? Waste of time, isn't it? Brutal overtime, yeah. But even the ones we taught who were not doing that, you know, everything eventually came to light. Ubis Ubisoft surprised me. I've heard some stories about Ubisoft, you know. But apparently that's the system, IROC, you know. You see, there's billions of dollars running through that industry now. So that's just like the stock market now and the banks and the whole lot. You've got that kind of corruption. Harassment and lots worse.
Ah, my dogs are awoke. <laughs> and that's when I know it's time to go. So, let me see. Well, we could go with that with a centerpiece, which I think, to be honest, would be the way to go. Now that... I'm not really impressed. I know. Hmm. What about... We did something like filling the whole area, or maybe like this. Going across, I'm still not convinced. We can do a kind of square, and then... You know... Or maybe... And that one is not bad. What's this one like? Oh, I don't like it. No. That's not... Well, I could do a kind of square thing on that, and then we come in with this. There's something nasty about that tree. Oh, hi, Dark Rider. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. And welcome, raiders. So, how have you been, Dark Rider? Yappers are up, I hear. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so this is what we've been doing. We're trying to work out some kind of design on this, but that's ridiculous. So I might have to keep it kind of, kind of low on this. But we've done a bit on this. We've basically finished the gardens. Hmm. Suffering Requiem. Ah. Oh, I'll get rid of the beds later, but all the gardens are finished. We had a bit of... We had major problems, actually, with this piece. But eventually got it. We had to do a little bit of adjustment at the back as well. But I think we've we've basically finished our garden. We went a little different with this one. Well mostly because you know of the waterway here. That's feeding the other one. Yeah, you gotta love my dogs. But they always wake around this time. <coughs> Guys, please. And we had to do a little bit of remodeling on the stairs. You know, it was glitching a little bit here. But we got that one sorted as well, eventually. Well, it took a, a good while to get through it. I think I've been on six hours. <laughs> but they were nasty getting the pools as well. And eventually I'm going to have to fix the corners here. You know, get them... I might... I keep saying I'll do a little bit of this, let's say, when I'm offline, but Skyrim has been taking up a lot of my time. A lot of my time. And that's our little sacrificial altar. But once I do the little thing outside, I think to be honest, we're you know we're pretty much done in the gardens. I've got to do these three corners then. And to be honest, after that, I think we're pretty good here. And then I can start on the bedrooms. I think we'll go reasonably quick. One sec of the bedrooms. I'll start on a small armory here. And then maybe on the top. Just a few plants. Or maybe some kind of seeding here and then some plants. Shouldn't take much longer to do this. Time to hit the image. Cheers for the stream and have a great day. And thanks for stopping by, I rock. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. 
But yeah, I'll be going now myself as well. It's just six hours. I'm sorry, guys, raiders. But I was just getting ready to go. But I will be doing another raid. Um, you know, some of some of our friends should be on. But once my dogs wake up at this time, you know, they want to be fed and walked and everything. So they don't have any patience whatsoever. <laughs> but I always knock off at the very latest at this time. But I will be back tomorrow. I've been alternating between this game and Skyrim. But I'm guaranteed to be building every second day on Skyrim. And then we pick another game, let's say, and finish it to its end. And then change it again eventually. We we did a Skyrim Legendary playthrough. I think we started off with Then we did um, Valhalla. Then we did New Vegas. Now we're back to Skyrim, we're doing a legendary survival. That one is... Yeah, I'm finding that one pretty interesting. So it will be Skyrim tomorrow and then back to Fallout 4 the day after. So, we'll see who's... Um, we'll see who's streaming. And I'll stay on there, let's say, when I get something to eat and rest up. I definitely need it. It's been a while since I've eaten. So, yeah, goodbye, Iraq. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And you too, Dark Rider, and thanks for the raid. And thanks, Raiders, for accompanying Dark Rider on that raid. I hope you have um, a good day. And, of course, um, Granny Vats, uh, Jill... Uh, half a puff and Perry. Uh, take care, ladies. And also Tigger. Have a good one, Tigger. And Ghost, thanks for stopping by, following. I appreciate it. And let's see what else was here. Oh, Blue Phoenix. Yeah, take care, Blue. And thanks for the lurk, uh, little bee. I appreciate it. And Court. Yeah, I hope you have a good day, Court. Court Gaming. And I think we mentioned Joel and Granny Vats. Um, and Shelley, of course. Stay safe, Shelley. And Suburban Werewolf. Have a good one, Wolf. And goodbye, Perry. And stay safe. And thanks for hanging out, Suburban Werewolf. And... Off a puff, Jill. And Colonel. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Colonel. Yeah, I'm 100% relying on my message board. That's everyone I can remember. Yeah, my memory is not great. Apologies if I missed anyone, but to everyone who is watching, no, can you appreciate it, guys? Thanks for the support. Yeah, as I said, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm looking forward to doing Skyrim. And then back here again. But in the meantime, we'll see who's streaming. And I shan't be too long doing this. I'll do it for my Xbox and just takes it a tiny bit longer because Twitch have kind of changed things around a bit on console. But I hope everyone has a great day and stay safe. I was lurking all day. Oh, thanks for that, Perry. I appreciate it. So, uh, let's see who's streaming. 